Five. It is Friday. Oh my! This is a two chip winter day. Saturday came early. I'm not going to be here this Saturday, next Saturday. So, uh, all right, you got that. Um, I'm thinking I have kick available today, but I know it's not the get the best view because we're doing vertical, right? We're doing the vertical so that others can be able to see it. The uh, the short fee, right? Uh, it's insane, folks. It is utterly insane. So if if you're viewing this because of the thumbnail and and and, and the title saying, "Hey, um, short feed live," and you want to get into doing this, now I have already had a base of folks that 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 watch me live all the time, right? Anywhere between concurrently. 50 to 60 people through the course of a live stream, about 150 to 200 views. That is a norm for, for me. But one thing that hasn't been is the amount of people when you're doing a short feed that have hit the subscribe button. My prior day, biggest amount that I ever gained on any one given day in the vast majority of my content, probably a good 92% of it, has been live. So it's a hard trek to get 1,000 subscribers live. We, 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 we crush that, ultimately. <clears throat> but we started yesterday's stream with 1,423 subscribers. We ended the stream last night gaining 53 subscribers in one stream. And... The prior day high was 27. Now, we've had crazy weeks where it was 127 subscribers gained in a week and lots of videos and shorts and, and uh, lives all done in that same week. It's insane. And we didn't gain random people, right? We gained people that subscribe to Crapsy in the same stream and we're playing with us. Five people, five new people, right? Now, I will say in the afternoon, late afternoon, late lunch blitz, we did have one person out there that said he was 14 and was in chat. But the vast majority of people from last night, they knew about Craps. Hey, I'm on the yo. Hey, I have 500 on the don't shooter. <laughs> you know, just trying to razz me. It's, it's all good. That's what we're trying to do is build a community, right? And so uh, it's interesting that uh, we have potentially a new outlet to be able to get to people. Now, what I will say is what's interesting about all of this is the engagement, right? There were a lot of people chatting. They weren't seeing crazy things, right? And you're able to even drive engagement. And that's what it's all about, right? We want to build a community here. We want to educate people within craps and, and get there. So there's two Crapsy Chips championships available today. Hopefully I throw well. We've had two Saturdays where it's been bad to start and then ended okay. We had last week where it was great all the way throughout. I mean, it was just insane. This is a Friday. Who knows what's going to happen? This afternoon was horrible. Um, it was good enough to technically make money, choppy, but a good enough to make money. But I overplayed one hand and I just didn't want to chase. I didn't want to blow a bunch of bankroll. I made a good chunk back and I was happy with that. So I was happy with a couple thousand dollar loss because last night I made $8,000 to the plus. For those of you just watching this just right now, this is Crapsy live that we're going to be playing on on the bottom of the screen we have a community of about over a hundred people that usually get onto our tables uh within one unique day typically it's right around 50. we're probably going to get right around that amount uh so jump in there with us crapsy.live it does take a subscription if you want to join a live or group table this is listed in the live table, uh, and it is, I'm on the actually wrong one. Aye, aye, aye. 
Helps if I get into the right one, right, guys? Ay, ay, ay. All right, uh, I was I was wondering why that I was on the on the group table, not the live table here. All right, so Saturday it's called TCS Saturday comes early. Saturday comes early, so uh, I guess I should probably put the the thing on the screen too. I think that was the one thing that I hadn't done in this thing. So. Just give me a moment. You're going to see some stuff on your screen that's going to look a little weird, but uh, let me let me put a. All right, uh, we're going to put a code up up there. So I just need to grab my keyboard here, put this in there. Make sure to check in. Uh, I'm probably not going to be doing as many kick dual streams here until we hash out how to view it. Uh, I have another desktop or laptop that I can put up and have a dedicated stream just for kick. I'm not sold that that's going to be the answer just yet, uh, but I know it's real time. Uh, with the the feed through the short feed, it looks better on a phone or tablet uh, for those of you that are out there maybe viewing it on a, on a laptop. Big screen TV, it still looks okay. Uh, you see the chat over on the side of the screen. All right, uh, so let's see, let's, uh, we're gonna just say Crapsy Code, Crapsy, Saturday. All right, um, S7, X3, F8. All right. We're gonna, oh, that's too much. Put it right, right back there. Uh, let's see that. All right, it's on the back wall on the bottom. So you can see it over on the back wall on the bottom. I did get uh, wind that people are able to uh, zoom in, but it's only after the video ends. So, all right, we're gonna untake this off of zoomed in face. All right. So we have Chaz out there. Crampton Camper Brian is out there. Strange is back. Hey, how's it going? Dutch Bros. Yep. Uh, yeah, Dutch Bros. If you want to sponsor me, uh, I definitely think that would be pretty cool. All right. Snapple and Dutch Bros. That's all you need. All right. Blazer is out there. We've got Fuzzy out there. All right. Let's see. How many people do we have Logged in here. Oh boy, uh, that's a lot. It's scrollable, so it's about uh, looks to be if I had a swag at eighteen to twenty right now, and most of them are all here. All right, don't blow your bankroll. You will not get a rebuy. All right, so let's type this in. No rebuy. Uh, we'll put the the thing up on the screen so you can see it. Marty Smith's out there. How's it going, Marty? Marty, don't adjust your television. We are putting things out there as the, the short feed live, um, gaining new people into our community. All right, so uh, let's put, uh, if you're viewing on a tablet or something else, it is very easy. Oh man, thank you very much for the, for the membership. Wow, another member. All right, code is gonna be up on your screen. I'm gonna be, I'm a, add this and then we're gonna also say the rules okay so if you're playing here on crapsy there is no rebuy for this one the top two people will get a chip just in just in i got the new chips with don't work to come out on the chip now i'll switch it as we move forward to realign it like john gt said uh unfortunately i had already ran with it and realized that i hadn't done that per se but here you can see the back of the chip right there, um, right there, and of course the, the the other side that shows the YouTube channel. So this is a collector chip, it's a clay chip. If uh, you see me in Vegas, in Chicago, in Tampa, in different places, I should have chips on me. Uh, come up to me, introduce yourself, I will give you a chip. Uh, and if you're interested in getting a chip because you can't make it out to one of those places and you collect them 
send me your information and I will send it out to you. All right. Uh, the chip that you win for this here is a exclusive chip. You have to win in order to get this chip. All right. It is the Crapsy Barney chip. The Texas Trap Shooters Barney chip, and it's the Crapsy Championship. That is both sides of it right there. That will be mailed to you if you win in the top two today. All right. <clears throat> All right. So the rules. $2,000 bankroll. $10 table. Max bet, $2,000. Max hop, $250. Whole chips, 20 times odds. Max odds, 5,000. The win, uh, the VIG is on the win. Uh, the hard ways and the easy hops pay 17 to 1, so 16. Uh, double for the 2, triple for the 12, and it pays the bigger town bets. We will only have 70 shots, and we call the last shooter at roll number 70. Wherever that ends, if it ends at 100, it ends at 100. But the last shooter starts at roll 70. All right. Appreciate the, the subscription there. Thank you, thank you very much. All right. All right, so we have the check-ins. Feel free to jump in there and say some stuff out there. And uh, let's get out there. All right. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Be nice, Dice. Be nice. People are trying to win a chip here. but. As always, don't empty your, your rack. It's not going to be good. You have 70 rolls to last, so don't blast right away. Don't blast right away. All right. Let's get out there. We'll go 10, 10, 10. We have 2,000, so we have a little bit to work with, but with this, we have to scale down. Our crap come out action and everything else. We're going to go eight on the crap check, two dollars on the yo. We're going to hop the reds for two bucks each. That should give us money no matter what hits, if it's a red or a horn. All right. Let's have a big day today. Today's going to be a good day. All right. A lot of, of, of what we do is mindset. So go into it happy. Hopefully you end it happy. You're, you're bound to have some bad. Let's just get that out of the way, right? It's going to happen, right? Six, two, eight. But let's hope to get out to decent start. If you're watching us over on the live YouTube feed for shorts, we are playing craps live. We have a bunch of people playing for a collector's chip here on Texas Crap Shooters. TCS Craps. Come join us. Go to crapsy.live. The code is on the screen once you end up uh, getting onto it. And you can join us at that point. All right, so let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll check in with the kick folks here again. I apologize. Kick. It does look, it does. It, it's real time. You can just hear it. as soon as I'm saying it, it's real. Uh, but, uh, we, we do need a few more people over on kick to get to that 75 mark. We should get to 1500 here on YouTube. Um, as far as total subscribers here by the end of the stream. Amazing, 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 amazing how many people we've picked up between last night and today. All right. All right. Today's a crazy day. So we're going to have this at the end of the 70. We'll, we'll end that. We're going to go straight into a bonus show. The bonus show is where I open up the lines for folks to jump onto Zoom with me. And I host a roundtable chat about craps and casino stuff. So jump in here. Stay tuned.
We'll get it out there. Okay. Dice out. And we got a 10, 6, 4, 10. I'm going to try to stay at a, at a quicker pace. I've been giving that feedback again. Uh, sometimes I do get a little talkative, so I apologize. And uh, we'll try to get uh, stuff as uh, quick as possible. All right. 6, 4, 10. Uh, we are on an 8, but I did not flip it. Okay. And the 10. Okay. <clears throat> Object is to win money and crap, so anytime you have an opportunity to get out of the hand, make sure you do. Into the early lead. Is that right? Let's see. Jason, it looks like, at $98 to the positive. All right. Dice out. <laughs> and we got a six, a one five mixer. One five mixer. Five one mixer. All right, that was roll number three. Fuzzies out there says, after one roll on YouTube, delay is quite evident. Uh, da, 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 da. So back to kick. Okay. Kick pop up, pop out screen feature and no, no commercials. Yep. All right. There should be no commercials actually on the short feed. So if you go to the short feed live and not just the normal live at um, it should give you no commercials at all. So you're aware. All right. <clears throat> all right. There's another person that came back. C. Steeler out there again. Very nice. I just rolled the six. You are correct. All right. All right, so the idea is to get out of the hand. I know I really have not because of the number of the amount of stuff that I have out there, but we can partially get out of the hand, all right? All right, that's out. And of course, I should have gotten out of the hand. It's a one six seven. Ay 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 ay. ay. Why do I do not do that to myself? Um, put money, more money back out there after I tried to get out of the hand, but uh, I didn't. Okay, we got a one six seven. That is a split of the dice. Split a Rooney. That is the first hand down, but it's not the number of hands again. It's after we get to roll 70. That's when we're going to call the last shooter. So keep that in mind. Play very small until you get there or else you, you get no rebuy. You get no rebuy today. Don't, don't leave it all out there. All right. No rebuy. We're going to go down a little bit more. We lost about 100. So we'll do two dollars there. We'll lose a dollar on a crap and gain a few on a red or yo. And we got a yo six five yo. Midnight, yo. All right, we got the yo. So you're saying there's lag over on YouTube? Huh. Anyone else have lag on YouTube? Let me know. I'm not seeing any up on my my screen here, so I don't know. I know it's there's delay. That is almost that's not something that I can stop. All right. Oh, what am I doing? 
is there still to come up? Well, geez, Louise. All right. I almost messed up. I almost did this. I said, don't work to come out. Don't, don't, Man, don't work to come out. Don't work to come out. All right, we'll up it to $3 crap. And we got a seven on the come out roll. Oh boy, six one seven on the come out roll. Don't work to come out. I said, don't work to come out. Don't, don't, don't work to come out. All right, we're fine. We made money on both of those rolls. All right. That does reset the ATS. It does reset the ATS. All right. Dice out. Two splits of the dice early. Maybe we need to go to kissing set. We got a hard six. All right, yo, come out seven, hard six. We got two trees, double DJ. Uh, it yeah, when you join over on kick, the sound is uh, is auto off, so. Just so you're aware. All right, we got a six. That's right where the puck is. Sort of weird, right? We're like Nostradamus. We full saw the future. That's what we said don't work to come out. And that is why we said and put the puck right where it was going to be. Jason says, yeah, a lag on the tube about 15 seconds oh yeah 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 Th that that's gonna happen there's just a delay no matter what it's sort of weird right because i send the same feed out to youtube that i do to um to kick it comes from the same stream like youtube i guess because there's more people it just processes through but that's just not true because of the number of people that watch over on kick is a lot so it's sort of weird. Very, very weird, folks. Very, very weird. All right. So let's see. Where did we start here? So we got a baseline. We have already 117 views um, so far. Let's uh, baseline. We were at 1488 on the subscriber count here before the stream. We will hit our first refresh, and we're at that same amount. Okay. So we have no new subscribers just yet. And we're just getting started. All right. Six is the call. We won $2 out of the come out action. Oh, that went to the wrong area. Undo last. Let's put it there. Get the hard ways for $2 each. All right. It's a lot to put up front. That's about 10%, 5% maybe. Oh, my nurse, you got to be freaking kidding me. This is one of these days. Primary hit. 437. Oh, my God. All right, we're going to go to 3v set. This can't, we can't do this to people. 4 3. Why? Oh, why? Oh, why? Splits of the dice, split of the dice, primary hit. I was on an all red set. Uh, yep, yep, yep. We guessed wrong today. We've hit. But to establish this one, we had a double pitch, right? A hard six. And to get this one, the red, we did not. All right. I'm going to go down and, and stop playing crazy. So I already lost 300 of my 2,000. So I'm just going to go $10 pass line, five on the all. Because that's all that really matters. Two dollars on the crap check. That gives me full coverage. All right, we're gonna go with some speed. We're gonna pick a 
normal 3B set that works, and we're going to hope and pray. Dice wrap. All right, we've got aces in both places. Aces in both places. You're saying there's a chance. Again, I'm not going to get anything unless I hit the all, because I did not get on the small or the tall. Yes, even a 5-5-5 five, five, five can be a bleed if you're trying to find your shot right now. So, we already marked it. That was roll number one on already roller number three. Uh, not the type of start we wanted. The first one was okay. We got a couple of hits, but uh, that one was not. We had a we had a few hits, but they were in the come-out roll. Okay. Ugh. Gosh. Meltdown. Chernobyl is uh, spilling over. Oh, my. Nice out. All right. And we got a nine. Three, six, nine. Thrust the shot. All right, that was a 4-3, and then a aces, 6-3-9. 6-3-9, pineapple lips bricks. We appreciate anyone that does follow us over on kick. We're pretty close to the 75. I, we're under 10 away. I think we were 9 away from being able to get to that 75 mark. Now with the new YouTube live shorts, I don't know that I'm going to just cut straight over to there once we get a critical mass, but uh, we will probably at minimum dual stream at some point here. All right. All right. So we're just going to go inside. So inside, that limits us to the 66. So we're good, right? We already have $2 collected of that 66. Stop the hemorrhaging by slowing down the bets. All right, dice are up. And we got a nine. Five, four, nine. That is a winner. Buckshot. I didn't put any odds there. Just because we're trying to play the small ball right now. Okay. That's a buckshot. If you are new to the channel, watch your ears. We're going to put uh, Color Up Club right out there, right in the middle, as the fire bet. It's our first point, Moss Tequila. The Couching Gamer, $5 says craps next row. <laughs> uh, Rylan, how's it going, Rylan? Uh, we got Elaine out there. How's it going, Elaine? Uh, let's see. We are going to make it to 70 rolls. Trust me. <laughs> it might not look pretty. So, so your bankroll might not make it if you, uh, if you put too much out there. So be careful. Oh, be careful. All right. Buckshot. All right. Dice are out. Don't work the come out. I said, don't work the come out. Don't, don't, don't work the come out. All right. That was a book shot. That was roll number three. This is roll number four. And we got a five. I, I, I didn't even. Lock you guys out. Three, two, five. We got a two, three, Michael Jordan Fever. Okay. We are now on the five. Okay. 
So I'm going to move my 5 over to the 9. Put $10 in odds. Nice run. And we got a five right back. Another buckshot. Wow. That's back to back points hit. Back to back points hit. And I'm playing timidly, but it's okay. It's all right. It's not about me. It's about you guys. Whoever's going to get this, uh, these two chips here. All right. We're going to go ahead and put out there Demon Dog Dice. Demon Dog Dice. Out there. He's going to be on the five, representing the fire bet for the five. All right. That's another buckshot. That's another winner. We got a horse and buggy five. Horse and buggy five, and a buckshot. You're 11. Oh, wow. This is uh, definitely an adult game. Um, <clears throat> all right. Dice wrap. And we got the two twos, hard four. We got the two twos, ballerina slippers, hard four. Hard four. All right. Mark it up. All right, let's get on to the five and place four. Roll number seven coming up. Yeah, make sure to hit the ready button. And we got a four right back. Three buck shots in a row. Wow. Wow. Three buck shots in a row. Three, one, big Joe. Craps Master Journey. Moss Tequila. Moss Tequila. Oh, my. That's a three-point fire bit in a jiffy, almost at the minimum. Seven rolls in, and we have three points. All right, we'll put Big AZ out there onto the four. You guys know what his icon looks like. All right. Wowza. <laughs> you guys have to say something after that. Come on. Three buckshots. Buckshot points. Holy heck. Back to back to back buck shots, yeah. <laughs> After a really bad start, Glenn. <laughs> uh, this game knows how to be cruel, right? I, I slowed down my betting, and then I then I then I tossed that, right? Ay ay ay. Go figure. Go figure. It's all good. We're almost out of the hand. All right. Pow pow pow. Don't work to come out. I said, don't work to come out. 
don't, remember to hit the ready button, folks. We have I'm two out. people, three people out there not hitting the ready button. If you uh, are protecting an ATS or something like that, you will not get it protected. Nice round. All right, we got a six. That's a new number. Four, two, six. Four, two, six. Chance for the four points. You got piece of lumber. Two by four. <laughs> Brian says, yeah, baby, let's go over on kick. Kick.com backslash Alfredo TCS. All right, we're on the six. Mark it up. AC Ducey Alfredo Sauce gives us the small. Remember, I only went on the uh, all after killing myself a little bit there. Uh, not killing myself, but you know what I mean. Uh, having that bad start. All right. That was roll number eight. Uh, let's get on to the four. And... Uh, Let's bring the odds down here. Dice out. We got a yo, a midmo yo, five six yo. Midmo yo. How's the pace, folks? How's the pace? Pace good. I think Bill was doing some chores. He missed all these points. All right, no buckshot this time. We did get a yo in between. Danny's out there. How's it going, Danny? We love this game. Oh, yeah. All right. Dice out. All right, we got our first shooter here. I did say it. I know someone said every time I say it. I hope that's not the case. Uh, it hit the dang glass. Two, three, five. Yes, we got a we got an actual hit. Two, three, five. I don't like that sound when it hits the glass. There, it's scary. It's very, very, very scary. V Cogger's out there. V Cogger. All right. Two, three, five. Fever, fever. That's a Michael Jordan fever right there. Lace up your Jordans, folks. Lace up the Jordans. Michael Jordan fever. All right. Dice out. M. Bellow, how's it going? The name of the game is, is Craps. The name of what we're playing down there is uh, Crapsy.com, Crapsy.live. Uh, you can play along. It's not actual money, so you're not going to be killing yourself. Or if you need to rebuy, it's free of charge. It's not uh, something. Uh, in the future, they will allow people without a subscription to play, but you only play with a limited amount of cash and game. Not the same as everyone else. Dice around. All right, and we got a six, two, eight, six, two, eight. That's useful. That's needed. Six, two, eight. Easy, eight. All right. We survived getting past that one. That was roll 11. The Ocho. Not the Ocho. Ocho is eight. Once. <laughs> the 11. All right. I love this game. When it's winning, I have a love-hate relationship. Oh, we all do. We all do. Strange. We all have the 
love-hate relationship with this game. There's nothing like a hot table. There's nothing like a table that's not hot. It's, it's almost like you're at a funeral. <laughs> it's bad. It's real bad. Right? Can be. You guys should be out of the hand by now. You really, really should. Um, uh, I did extend myself onto like the four, which I can technically take myself a little lower off of it now. I, uh, now I'm almost out of the hand. Uh, all right, full coverage out of the hand, $1 in the profit. Let's go. Concentrate, Alfredo. Let's go. And we got a nine, a nine, a nine, four, five, nine on a torpedo across to the other end of the wall. Boom, boom, boom. Almost like a ping pong or a what, pinball, pinball. Wow, that had a huge kick to the left. Bill, you missed the bad. Then you missed three tequila tequilas. I had three buck shots in a row, Bill. This is the fourth point that we're on. And uh, we we definitely are on to something. I had a switch set, so I was on the uh, I was on the old red set, and uh, that did not do too well. But this is a good roll. Did I say? Yeah, you missed three buckshot points in a row. Nice roll. And we got a 12. We got all the dots and all the spots, folks. That is a midnight. It's midnight. We got dots and all the spots. We only need a 10, and you could lay it if you're on. You could lay it if you're on it. We only need a 10 and a 3. I'm only on the all. Yeah, I'm played chicken. You know, you only have a small bankroll. Need to make sure that you uh, survive it. Got to make sure you survive it. All right. Dry eyes. Gets visine, gets the red out. Okay. All right. We'll take a look at the leaderboard in just a second. The intrigue. Where is this going? The shooter is starting to heat up. It's almost like an NBA jam session. He's on fire! All right, nice round. And we got aces again, but we didn't need aces. We needed an ace deuce. Come on, come on. Oh, boy. See a horn, better horn. We did uh, get that. Wowza. Two dots in both the spots. We got aces in both places. We are not gambling. There is no money involved in this game. Crapsy is a site. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, we are not gambling. And uh, we are just showing how to simulate how to... Uh, how to... Potentially make money when you go to the casino. There is no money exchanged. There is absolutely no money gained in what we do. This this educates you so that when you go, you understand what you can do. Yes. All right. Uh, we need some sauce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not drinking, John Doe. <laughs> ay, 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 that's funny. All right, so we should probably press up the horn anytime you get a horn, right? 
Yeah. See a horn, better horn. See a horn, better field. Let's go. Moss tequila. Dice her up. And we got a five, another five, three, two, five. We got a two, three, <laughs> Michael Jordan Fever. Fever, Fever, put on the Jordans. Let's go. Bowling. All right. I think Joe calls this the Justice Five. Jen needs to send me a chip in order for me to be able to represent her out there. Sorry, Mark, I'm live. I can't answer the phone. All right. The Super Bowl. That's a good question. You might get some fights out there. Who's going to win the Super Bowl, folks? Who's going to win the Super Bowl? What is your answer to that? It's a good question. Very good question, actually. All right, dice out. We need an ace deuce, or we need a 10. And we got neither. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Got a five deuce, Bruce. All right, so we end at 16 rolls on a five deuce for the that roller. Again, we're going for 70 total shots before we call the last shooter. We made a little bit of money. We stopped the bleeding there. Made a little bit of money. We came close. You could have hedged. You should have hedged if you had a high um, ATS. That was good. We had a lot of fives there. Lots and lots of fives. All right. No small, no tall. No fourth point, no four point fire bed. We did get the three point. There are some places that pay for the three point. All right. All right, let's check the leaderboard. How did that? Uh, oh, lots of people back into the positives. Okay, okay. Mrs. Money in second place. Coffee Land in first right now. Blue Jay Way in third. Hardways in fourth. Mike in fifth. Glenn, Texas in sixth. Chaz in seventh, Mother in eighth, in ninth place, uh, wait, ninth place is the Mother. We have Nerd, Nerd Herder in eight, eighth place, and we got Ben in tenth, just over the positive side. Okay. All right. What red was that one? That was a five deuce Bruce. Of course it was. Of course it was a Bruce. Dang Brewski. All right. All right. That was 16. That was a good one. That was a good one. All right. We believe we're going to go back up to 10, 10, 10. Just remember, folks, big rolls sometimes get followed up by not so big rolls. The Chiefs, because I'm a bad luck who, yeah, the Chiefs, it's going to be interesting, right? Chiefs, Chiefs are right there, yeah. Dice are out. And we got a five, a one, four, five. Frank P, how's it going, Frank P? Well, you missed a big roll, but you also missed some small rolls before that. So it just depends, you know, Frank, it depends. I think you got in just at the right time. 
we have lots of rolls to go, right? Last year, they're not called until roll 70. We're 25 rolls in, which means that we're one third of the way through where we're going to call at least the final shooter. All right. Okay. Be nice, dice. Be nice. Very nice. Dice rock. Oh, there it is. All right, that was roll number one. Roll number two. And we got a four, a three, one, four, Big Joe. Three, one, Big Joe. Chess is need the sauce. I hedged even with three dollars on the ATS. Why not? You can hedge with with any amount on it, right? I mean, it's a free bet, really, if you think about it. It just gives you a little bit of a rebate. All right, three, one, four. We will try to keep the momentum going. And by that, I just mean, you know, the pace of the game here. The pace of play, sir. You got a penalty taking too long to get to the next shot. Nice round. Oh, we got an eight. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Okay. Two, six, eight. I almost thought it was a one for a second. I had to take a step back. I was going to go into like a conniption fit, maybe. Uh, so, so good for it not to be. All right. Eight, two, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? The shooter. No. Great craps. Two, six, eight. All right. No rebuy, no rebuy. I'm so sorry. This is a tournament, uh, Vaughn. Tournament. Hopefully, you're listening. You cannot rebuy. Don't blast. You blast. No bueno. Two, six, eight. All right. Okay. That's it. And we got a seven. Damn it. That that uh, dice against the wall just get up against it and didn't want to flip. It wanted to flip and then it stopped. Three, four, seven. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Get two hits and then I want to regress, but I say, nope, nope, nope. Don't regress. Get more out there. Let's get more hits. Ay, ay, ay. Gotta play the short game, folks. Two hits and regress. Had enough for it. All right, but. Mm. All right. Just gonna have to be creative, folks. You get no rebuys. We already told you that, so. Don't blast all your money away. It will be said. You'll be watching on the sidelines. There's going to be a chip, two chip winner here today. So don't blast it all away. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have to take a chance here, which is par for the course. This happens all the time around here. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. Nice round. Damn. And we got an ace deuce. There is the ace deuce. Two, one, three. Ace deuce. Alfredo sauce. That's the Alfredo sauce. That's the old ace deucey. Perhaps. 
Winner on the front line if you're on the don't pass. Loser on the pass line. Winner on the crap check and the horns in the world bet. World bet is always good. All right, we won 22 bucks on that. That's nice. We like that. All right. Dice out. We've gone to a 3B set. We didn't like what happened initially with the red set. That is an nice deuce. And we got a seven on the come out roll. We erase the ace deuce, five deuce. Dang, these five deuces. And I get the five deuce whether or not I, the, uh, yeah. Okay. All right, that's fine. We made money off that as well. But we did lose the ace deuce. That was something that kept us from the small. So we don't want to do that. We want to get that ace deuce back eventually. But we won 80 bucks. 80 bucks off of our pre-roll stuff here. Uh, go back to 10, 10, 10. All right. We're going to pop the reds for a little bit more. And we're going to up that. And we're actually going to come down a little bit on the pass line. Now the rationale behind that is simply that uh, I want to be able to get out of the hand. So once I establish points, I want to—I don't want to have too much on the line that I have to cover for. Dice out. All right, we got a four. One, three, four. One, three, four. Big Joe. Three, one, Big Joe, Craftsmaster Journey. All right. Big Joe, not from Kokomo, from Wisconsin. All right. That was roll number three. Roll number four coming up. All right. Last shooter called it roll number 70. We will have a bonus show at and on this stream. So on this stream, the bonus is going to be coming up. We're playing for a couple of collector chips, champion collect collector chips. So uh, be interesting. We'll see who wins. Right now in the lead, Coffee Land. In the, in the lead, Coffee Land. So... Okay. Dice up. And we got a ten over on the N six four. Other side of the four is a ten. Easy. We got a 10, Wayland's best friend over at the end. Amy wanted an 11. We got a 10. One, one less there, Amy. All right. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything here on YouTube. Really appreciate it. Let's go...
Okay, so. IDK, how's it going, IDK? Dice run. We're on the point of four. And we got a six, a five, one mixer. The five, one mixer. Five, one mixer. All right. We will regress. We went heavy. And we got a hit of the 10, hit of the six. Got to make some of your money back some way. And we made everything back that we lost the roll before. Playing a little cheeky, a little... Uh, playing a little bit more like Papa Giorgio. Hey, guys. Let's go. We're out of the hand. Dice round. And we got a 10 over on the end, 6-4. All right. Of course, I regressed down to $10 on that number. Oh, yeah. Six, four, ten. We already have that number up there. Okay. Let's see. 805 views so far. Did we gain any subscribers? Doing this as a test since last night. Actually, 10 subscribers gained in less than an hour. Wow. Wow. 10 subscribers. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. Hope you guys actually play craps or are wanting to learn craps. You come to the right place. I'll teach you. How to be very disciplined because I'll be good and I'll be bad. Thanks, sir. Got to be prepared for both. And we got a five, a three, two, five. All right, three, two, five. So, in about less than six hours of total streaming, to put this into perspective, for those of you that are watching this video retroactively and maybe you're interested because you have a YouTube channel and you want to know what the short live feed can do because you see the title, okay? In less than six hours of total streaming, now I've already, I was over 1,400 subscribers already, right? So I have, I have a base audience, but in that time frame. I've gained literally 75 subs in less than six hours. 75 subs in less than six hours. You do the math. You do the math. That's, that's a high rate. I have thousands of hours of lives that I've done on YouTube over the course of the last two years. Imagine if you were to keep that average up where would the channel already be? It's pretty insane, right? To think that, uh, wow. All right, anyhow. Uh, we got a three, two, five. Let's press a five, a baby press. Bill, thank you. Oh my God, you're such, you're so gracious, Bill. Thank you, appreciate it. Let's go, Bill. All right. Appreciate the support from 
the crafts community, from those of you out there watching. Hopefully you're able to learn something, have some entertainment as well. Thanks for And we got aces in both places. We need the sauce again. Can we get the sauce? All right, chat. Call for some Alfredo sauce in the chat. Let's go. We just need the Alfredo sauce for the small again. We had it this roll, I believe, but we erased it. Oh my. Aces in both places. We just need the sauce and we'll hit the small. The sauce being the ace deuce. Three crafts. SpongeBob drinking bleach. That's. <laughs> Please don't drink bleach. That's very bad. You're going to. You're going to watch the Super Bowl. Uh, I will uh, be watching the Super Bowl. We have a Super Bowl watch party. All right. Aces in both places. Let's go. Wow. Let's get the sauce. Let's see over here in Kick what they're what they're saying. Blazer says checking this out on Kick now. It's a game uh, you can learn that has real world applications. You don't shoot char characters in this game, but you can get shot down. <laughs> Jess. <laughs> All right, sorry. All right. Oh, my goodness. Concentrate. Get to the back wall, dummy. Let's get the sauce. And we got a nine instead. We needed that one, too. Four, five, nine. Nina, Nina from Pasadena. That's the hard nine. We got Nina from Pasadena. We got a nine on nine. That is the ninth toss, and we got a nine on nine. Nine. I'm not saying no. Yes, I'm not, not speaking German right now. Nine, nine. All you need is nine. All right. Four, five, nine. We call that the hard nine here in the crafts community. Hard nine. All right. All right. Let's go. EC do see. Please. Please stand by. That's up. Come on. Three crowns. And we got a six, a two by four, six, laying the lumber, the lumber number. We got a piece of lumber, two by four. Back to back shooters. I said it, I said it. Trying to dispel your damn rumor. Okay. Anyways. Um, I guess I should let you guys say it in the chat. Yeah, that's what we'll do next time. I want to turn your bets off if you believe in that superstition. Let's go get some rapitas. Yep. Get the rapitas, the sweeter. Yep. Hundo percento. The chips are turning from red to green, and hopefully from green to black. <sighs> All right. Ace deuce. Get us back in the game. Back in the game. AC Ducey. <laughs> oh my lordy. 6 1 is not an ace deuce. It's not an ace deuce. Ay, ay, ay. 6 1. 11. We're getting there, folks. We're getting better. We're getting better. The rolls are starting to get closer to 70. That was, I think, roll number 39 on the 11th roll. We did not get 
the small twice now, missing by the ace deuce. Unfortunately, this one we had the ace deuce, but we cleared it with a seven on the come out roll. Ah, <sighs> yep. Wah, 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 wah. So close, but yet so far. But we did make back a lot of ink roll, so that was that was good. We made back a bunch of ink roll. We're still in the negative, at least I am. Lots of people in the positive, I'm sure. Let's see. First place. Is that Badger? Jim? Jim? That's Badger. Jim in first place, 1388 Coffeeland in second at 1224. Wowzer misses money still up there in third place. Glenn in fourth. Blue Jay Way. Ben, the mother. T. Silzo Tommy. Uh, looks like Crisp, Mike, Mike G, Frank, all in the top 11, Lazy Dog, number 12. All right. Remember, top two win chips here. All right. Dang it. We've missed the sauce. We didn't get enough people to say sauce, guys. You need to, you need to ask for the sauce next time. All right. Come on now. We, we asked chat to say... Give me some sauce. You guys all need to hop the sauce and ask for the sauce. I mean, even even if it's uh, Frank hot sauce. Come on. All right, guys, dice are out. Roll number one on shooter number six, I think. All right, we're gonna go back out there. We had a we had a chance there, guys. We had a chance. We squandered it. It happens sometimes. That's why you play the game. There's variance. There's this opportunity. Sometimes when opportunity knocks, you either open the door or get shut in your face. Dice right. And there's a six, a one five mixer. Five one mixer. Thank you, Vaughn. Appreciate it. All right. All double digit rolls are great, you know. The the thing is, is can you follow them up, right? And and I think that's the the crazy thing that, that happens in this game because you see all the good and you're like, come on, let me get even half of that the next roll, and I'll make money. But that's when the dice will find a way to zigzag. And all of a sudden you're like, what just happened? I, did, I didn't have a, a, red cape, a red cape in front of me and a, and, a, and a bull running at my face. But that seemed like that's what happened. I just ran into a buzzsaw into a wall. That's why we play and we practice here so we don't go and lose all our money in real life. Practice and hopefully... You'll put yourself in a decent spot to be able to take advantage in real life. That's the hope. Doesn't necessarily mean how it always turns out, dies out. All right, we're looking for a six, five one mixer. Let's get back in. And we got a 12, all the dots and all the spots. We've been hitting those extremes, but the eleven and the and the and the ace do seem to be a little bit more elusive. It's roll number two. All right, we are forty. How many rolls did I miss? Holy hell! It says forty-one over here, but I'm missing like so many over there. What was the last roll? Uh, 11. I don't know. Don't know what to say. 12 is the call. See horn better horn. See horn better field.
Yeah, I missed three shots somewhere. I don't know. Oh, okay. We'll just keep going on. Someone will figure it out. Yeah, Vegas was built on 2%, right? Yeah. Nice out. And there's an 8, a 358 Herbie, the love bug. 358. All right. All right. Uh, slight intermission at the next the next stop here. The next point. Give you a chance to get a drink. Use the restroom real quick. And we'll enter the last stretch there, hopefully. You'll see. Nice out. And we got a four, three, one, four. Big Joe, perhaps Master Journey. Three, one, four. Nice out. And we got a seven. Dang it, man. Listen to your gut. I said regress. I was over I was over the amount to get back to even. I was plus two hundred if I pulled it down and then put Hundred and something out there would have been plus a hundred. Nope, did not listen to me, to myself. And uh, yep, we got a six one seven. Aye, aye, aye. All right, quick intermission. Get your bets in. Think about your strategy. We're coming up closer to roll number seventy, where we'll call the last shooter. Ah, that's. Don't be ultra aggressive. That happens. All right. Okay. 
Let's do it. Damn it. Oh, that sucked. That sucked. Trucker Spence. How's it going, Trucker Spence? How are you doing, sir? All right. If you're just joining us, the shooter was a little too caught up in his own sauce there. Damn. All right. We are going to put it out there. Yeah. We are. It is time. It's time here to take a move here, at least for me. Don't follow what I'm doing, per se. Could be very bad for you. Could be very bad. Okay. We'll hop. And we'll have regular hard ways as well. Dice out. Let's go. Let's get some repeaters. All right, I've got a yo, five six yo. Uh, mid mo yo. Mid mo yo. Okay. All right, we won fifty five on that roll. Let's see if we can pay for the for the roll here. Get another horn number, hopefully a 12 or 2, maybe an ace deuce. Hmm. We will see. Okay, so that was a primary hit, top side. Okay. And we got an eight, two, six, eight. All right, two, six, eight. Wayland's out there. How's it going, Wayland? Two chips on the line. Top two win a chip here. Fuzzy's out. Oh, boy, Fuzzy. Dang it. Don't put it all out there like that. All right. All right, dice out. Let's go. I don't think I can come back and win this one, and I wasn't trying to, but uh, I always like to compete. All right, and there's a hard six. Don't say never. Don't say never. I'm going to be ultra aggressive now with a smaller bank of a wool. It's the only way for me to get back in the game. And if I hit the ATS here, well, not only will I be back in the game, I'll probably jump up to first or close to it. Uh, that was not a 12. That was a 6. And we have an 8. Okay. Hard 6. Two trees, no working forced. All right. We got two trees. <laughs> Double DJ Parlay of the day. We'll see. Dang it. 
Okay, so. Why, 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 why? Every freaking time a short roll. 257. Okay. This is what it is, folks. Play the don't, I guess. That might be the play, or get out of the hand after one hit. <laughs> That's hard to do. Most people don't uh, regress after one. But if you're already ahead, you don't have to put a lot of money out there. Play 66 across or something like that. If I stood to what I was doing early on, I would only be down a very small bit. But uh, I instantly went a little more crazy. That was half my bankroll of what I had left right there. A good chunk of it was onto that ETS. All right, well, yeah. you gotta, gotta play smart. All right, can I make it back? Yes. Is it going to be easy? No. Let's just play the game. All right, so. All right. Hard ways. Hard ways, hard ways. All right. All right, we got a six, one, five mixer. Don't be afraid of the split of the dice or the double pitch. Oh. Five, one mixer. All righty, folks. The shooter is trying to figure it out. We will see if I do. If I do, it's good luck for you. I've had a couple of decent rolls. But I wager big on the wrong rolls. And that's where this scheme can get you, right? This is not my normal recurring. I don't have bankroll that I've uh, been able to build back up. So. so it is what it is. All right. All right. Let's just do. The norm, a normal thing, right? We'll do a quarter there. Do all the hard ways. And one and one. Inside. Okay. And got to be kidding me. <laughs> okay. Well, double pitch. Three, four. What did we have before? Mm, mm, mm. This is... <laughs> I don't know. We're going to have people surviving with the positive if it stays like that, right? Wow. And that just takes it to a bad spot. All right. Let's just play a pass line in two numbers and we'll lead to an iron cross. Okay. Still got a little bankroll. Still got a little bankroll. Not putting any other things out there. We're going to put this here. Chances of a primary hit on the 12. Our ace is low. Got an 8. 6, 2, 8. So that was a double pitch. 7. From a hard way set. Okay. 
pass line 6 hop to 5 uh, 35 in the field And we got a nine, three, six, nine. So we're playing like a modified iron cross. If we get a bunch of field numbers, that's not too bad because the only thing we really lose is the hopping five. We'll hop to five one more time because it's just more efficient to do so, right? Hop to five one more time. Go five more on there, I so. Okay. And we've got an eight winner, six two. And that's for the first winner since we buckshot on all those other points, I think. Yeah. Six two eight, six three nine, six two eight. All right. We'll put Craps Y out there. Craps Y is Chip Uncle Mel. All right. Over to the eight. Let's put it there. It's like a fire bit, just showing that we hit a point. All right, let's get this simmered down. Oh, wait up. I don't know why I put a six. It's a six to eight. Okay. And we got an eight, another eight, five, three. Easy eight. Easy eight. All right. The winner does not need to be pretty. It's whoever. <laughs> has the most chips and that might be negative, but uh, I doubt it. We have some people way into the positive. All right, Badger is still up there. People can come back. I just have to roll really well. All right, we'll go with 50. Go back to the 35, make that 50. Actually, let's take a quarter, take a quarter, take a quarter. Take that down to 20. All right. Dice up. There's a yo, five, six, yo. Yeah. All right. Five six you. It's another primary top side hit. With that, we're gonna. Do that. Ties out. Turning the iron cross into full coverage. We've got a hard eight winner. 
Another winner. Square pair. Ha. Fortunately, it wasn't a buckshot because we had the yo in between. All right. It's the second point of eight. We will put Jay-Z out there. There's Jay-Z, Silver Fox, over on the eight, along with Uncle Mel. Part eight, square pair. Nice. And we got a yo, five, six, yo. You're just joining us. We have a tournament going on. The top two will get a crab seed chip. I normally do the tournaments on Saturday just for one chip, but there's no rebuys here, so you can't rebuy. So hopefully you don't blow all your bankroll. Some people have, unfortunately. That is another top side primary hit. Nice up. Lazy dog, how's it going? Lazy dog. Sorry, chat, haven't seen this. Teresa Richards, how's it going? Come on, eight with odds. There you go. Roll a six. What's up? Uh, we had the pro channel, GTA 5. All right. Appreciate you guys. Hit the subscribe. Appreciate it. If you, uh, if you do, I'll go check your channel out as well. Just make sure that you have subscriber notification on, so I only know that if you share. Thanks, out. All right, there's an eight, another eight. Oh, my nurse. Anyone hopping an eight? Anyone playing an eight out there? Hello. Hello. There's the fifth eight. Hello. Jeez, Louise. Holy eight. That is the fifth eight. We hit two points of eight already. All we've hit is points of eight so far. Oh my. Right, that is, uh, I don't know what role it is on. Badger is up there. That is roll number eight. <laughs> We hit eight on roll number eight. All right. Wow. Does it? And we got an ace deuce, so for it of sauce. Ace deuce, Alfredo sauce. Okay. AC deuce crepes. We call it the Alfredo sauce. Right. Make sure to hit the like out there, as well as the subscribe if you haven't already. That was roll number nine. We're going to get to another double digit roll here. Why am I not, like, I, 
I know I put this in here. Like, what? what is going on? Holy hell. Sorry, there's pretty big winds. Uh, all right, so we're at 1498. Start this room at 1488. We're at 1504, which means we've gained 16 subscribers so far in this stream. Very nice. Four more, and we'll get to 20. Uh, all right. I don't think I can change anything. Settings. I don't think it'll let me. Yeah, see that? All right. We'll have to adjust that next stream. Got an ace deuce. See you on a bit of one. Let's go hard eight. Of course, a pop fly seven. Oh my god. What is going on, man? Every time. Just dug right into the thing and popped straight up. Sickles. Five deuce has just been elusive here every time. Yes, we got to 10, but we stalled out right there. Unreal. Still find a way to lose money because I never regressed. I actually put more out there with the eight. Ay, ay, ay. All right. <laughs> Only threw a lot of eights. Too bad <laughs> three of them were not paying because of the fact that it was a come out roll. Establish a four next time and we'll be in business. Usually. Squandered another ace deuce that was the one that was elusive to us twice. I'll play a five, ten, five, and a twelve dollar working eight. That's it. It's the only thing I'm playing. Let's see if I can get that eight up there. All right, we got a yo, five, six, yo. Okay. Probably should have a whirl bit, but it's all good. Too late for that. There's the O. Another primary hit on the top. If it gets to the wall, we're semi good. If it doesn't, then we're not, per se. Dice up. All right, we got a three one four. Three one, Big Joe, Craps Master Journey. All right, eight rolls until we call the final roller here, and we will find out who wins. We will be live tonight at nine forty five with LFC. That means live fantasy craps. We're going to have more than just me shooting. Clearly, I need to put in some work. But beyond that, after the end of this show, on this show, we'll transition to what we call the bonus. People are going to come on. We're going to chat about different things to do with craps. Come on in and join us. We will have a Zoom link. It will come at the end here. All right, guys are out. All right, and we got a five-deuce spruce. Unreal. Come on. 
like I didn't even lose that much money, but I'm I'm, I'm still like, like, dude, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Five deuce. All right. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Tell you this five deuce is this. It's coming up way too much. Way too much. So I'm gonna change dice sets again. We'll we'll change it. We'll just change up the toss. Let's go to the TST toss and uh, we'll finish it with that. All right, TST toss. We'll go five 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 ten five ten on the line. Two 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 on the hopping reds. All right. Ah, oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Clearly, last night shot really well. Today, not the same. Different person, right? TST toss, top secret toss. Straight down the line, inline toss. Throw it ugly. 2-1-3. Two, 2-1-3. One, three. Two, one, three. AC Ducey, Alfredo Sauce. 2-1-3. Two, AC Ducey, Alfredo Sauce. Okay. All right. Damn. Two one three. Eleven dollars there. Guys out. TST, you set the red, offset, end line, toss them straight into the middle of the back of the wall. You want it to be somewhat ugly. That's fine. And we got a hard six. All right. These are going to be very quick, guys. Get your bits in very fast. I'm putting the Thing in first, so make sure you get your bets in. We'll put a turbo on for you. It's going to be quick. We're going to get to this. Hopefully, we get five rolls on this one. This might be the last roller. All right. At the end of the roll will be the two champions. Who survived Alfredo's onslaught of a bad tossing? Will we all of a sudden get a miracle all and change the game? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. All right. You do need to bleed. This is called the TST Top Secret Toss. All right. Dice out. And we got... <laughs> Oh my god. How did we get a that was not a perfect toss, but we still got a five deuce, which is a primary hit on the bottom. Uh some days are just bad, guys. This is where you would leave the casino, you don't rebuy back in. You might have a few chips in front of you just like, okay, screw this. It's not it's not working out. It's not working out. Alright? It's like all right, that flipped over. It was a five deuce. All right, unreal, unreal. I can't script that any worse. Holy hell, this makes me feel good on a bad day, like how bad this is. <sighs> okay, all right. We have to throw it uglier and throw it harder. All right, no rebuy, no rebuy. This is for a chip. Uh, we said that before. All right, let's. Uh... Nope. Maybe you're not listening. Uh... Why even play that? This that is what it is, right? All right, we got a ten. At the end, six four. Six four. 
six four ten over on the end. We're getting close. Three more rolls until we call the final shooter. All right. No rebuy on this one. And we got another seven. Unreal. What do, what do you think it is? A five deuce. Yep. Yep. Another five deuce. Oh, boy. Holy hell. Halt your bets. Play the don't. I don't know. You might get killed on the don't on a come out seven. All right. This is guaranteed to be the last shooter. Maybe. Sort of. Depends on what's the come out rule. All right. Five, five, five. And, uh, yep. Let's go. The old mile special. Six times three. Unreal. All right, I'm throwing all these primary hits. Let's just go back and do a hard way set. All right, got a five, two, three, five. All right, we will try to get to the ATS. I'll rotate the set around. I'm able to stay away from the split of the dice. It should be okay, or the double pitch. All right, five. Next roll. Calls the last shooter. So we still need to get past this one. Holy hell. All right. Barely survived through all that. With just enough for the ATS. That won't get me even back to you. No, I didn't survive. Oh. What did we get again? A five deuce. I change the set and I get a five deuce. I change to a different set, I get a five deuce. I get a I change to a different toss and I get a five deuce. Alright, that is not the final shooter. The next one is the final shooter, no matter what. And I'm out 100 percent So I all I am doing is shooting. Alright. And I'm doing a bad job. Let's see. Badger, you need to stay on. Uh-oh, Badger's out. Two people still in the money. The mother, make sure you're online. Only two people into the green. This is the final shooter. All right, Mrs. Money is there and the mother. All right. Wow. I literally knocked everyone out. Holy hell. That was bad. All right, I should have threw those dice away for a while. <laughs> Let's go back to our normal three. And we got a six. Five one mixer. Uh, that's another five deuce. Five one. All right, final shooter. This is it. This is it. Put you out of the misery. Oh, come on. Can't even handle the stick today. Jeez Louise. All right, I don't think we're going to do crazy late night. I have to be on a flight early in the morning. Uh, this does not make me feel good about playing tomorrow. All right, dice out. All right, we got an eight. Of course, now we get the eight. Not when I not when I had a bunch out there on the eight. Two six eight. Probably get the ATS as well. Who knows? All right. 
Anne is alive. She has potential here. And we got a five for one five. Four one five. Okay. Play sixty six all day. You still would have had money at this point. It wasn't that bad, but the last three shooters you would have lost the sixty six all three times. <sighs> yep. That is a real lesson in dice right there. All right, and we've got a four. Uh, three, one, four. All right. We will, who knows? I'm not even gonna say anything. Just keep going. Yeah. Doesn't matter, don't have anything out there. No skin in the game here. I'm just going to try to keep a rhythm and toss. <sighs> and if you have a chip in a chair, you might still be able to get something out of it. Who knows? Get back into the positive. Dice out. All right, there's a yo. Uh, six, five, yo. Big money. All right. More people into the positive and back into the positive. Blazer into the positive. Wow. Mother, better wake up. Other people are coming. All right. Do you stop and turn your bets off, or do you keep going? I don't know. Who knows? Um, we just never change this set in the first place, right? All right, dice out. And there's a five, one, four, five. It's a repeat number. Ooh, someone had a DC on the five or something. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Or a lay, maybe. Either that or they're hopping the reds. All right. Blazer into the lead. Wow, Blazer back to back weeks. Wait until the fourth quarter, until the last couple of rolls and just blasting past everybody. And there's another yo, 6-5 yo. Another one. yo. 6-5 yo. Same landing zone, yeah. And we got an eight, hard way, eight. Square pair. Square pair, hard. Uh, Sup, Jude, how's it going? You're my favorite. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, hard eight, hard eight. Square pair. All right. Well, of course, we get onto a decent one as soon as I'm out of things to do. All right. 
And we got a five, a three, two, five, another five. Another one. All right, Blazer into first place. And moving into fourth. Oh my. Three, two, five. Uh, that's the third five. All right, dice out. And we got the two twos, hard four. It's another repeat number. We got the two twos, ballerina the slippers, hard four. Well, this makes me feel a little bit better about tomorrow. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Ugh, things went cold. It's probably me just over overthinking it. Overthinking it. Sorry. Uh, get your bets in. Sorry about that. Give you a moment. I think that was roll number ten there. It's my normal set. Got scared away from it early. Should have stuck with it. All right, dice out. And there it is, right there. <laughs> what do you think ended it? A five deuce, of course it did. <laughs> Unreal. The five deuce was alive today. If you hopped it every single roll, you might have been okay. Holy hell. Five deuce Bruce ends it. Where do we lie? All right, folks, stay tuned. Don't leave. We're going to go into the bonus. We can talk about this awful shooting here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. uh, was that a 2-2 two -two and then that? 2-2 two -two and then that. Okay. 2-2 two -two and then the 5-2. <laughs> yeah, fingers. Two two and the five two. All right, let's let's see. So we have Blazer, another winner. That's his second time winning a chip. The mother, are you there? Are you there? Say it in chat if you are. You will be the next winner. The people at zero will not win because they did not play. The next one would be Mrs. Big Money. Mrs. Big Money would be the next up. The mother, you have a, you got a minute to say you are here, and we will, huh, exactly, watch, yeah, got you. Ugh. Blazer made the charge, got up to a thousand, over a thousand, and ends at 904. Dude, you are a champion, Matt. Great job, Matt. The mother, are you there? Let's see. Let's type it out there. The mother, are you out there? All right. Okay. We will take care of that business. That was awful. Uh, the red was the big number of the day. We had quite a bit of fives. Sixes underperformed. Uh, eights were about where they should be. Nines underperformed. Tens underperformed. Yos were through the roof. Uh, fours were pretty high. Um, everything else somewhat where it should be, and the reds were a little ahead of where they should be. All right, so winner is Blazer Matt. Blazer. Congrats, Blazer. And it looks like the mother has not spoken. The next up is Mrs. Big Money. Mrs. Big Money. And pretty much Anne and a couple others could have easily uh, got the, the next chip if they just turned their bets off or lowered their bet. 
So close. All right. Mrs. Big Money and Matt. Make sure that I have your uh, I have your addresses. I believe I do on both of you. And you will both be getting a Crapsy Championship. Oh boy, what a bad shooting night there. Holy heck, an 11 roller to end it, but uh, it's just, you know, leading what, what led up to it was just horrible. I apologize. I must be better, folks. That was bad. That was bad. All right. So now you can jump onto the show and tell me how bad it was. Actually, I should restart the stream, to be honest with you, because it's saying the bitrate. I'm running into some issues here. Um, yeah. Let's see. It says I'm running into issues on the bit rate. I don't I don't understand why, but let's see here. Yeah, we're gonna restart the stream real quick. Uh so jump back in. I'm gonna give you the actual link here. So escape this. Hello. All right, uh, Crapsy is over. The link is going to be here, but I'm going to restart the stream. So jump back onto the stream uh, as soon as you see it. Uh, we are going to restart. Oh, yeah, I don't know. It says open the widget. Open widget. Warning. It says it's good. Well, that was just a momentary warning. Never mind. Uh, the stream connection is good. Why is it not excellent? I don't know. All right. Wish I did. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's go. Start this. Usually it's excellent, so I must... Just be overclocking it or something. What do we got here? Stream analytics. Yeah, we got 37 watching. Let's just stay with it, and then uh, we should be able to get through it. All right, if you want to jump onto the stream here with me, I do need to modify a few things since we're on vertical. Uh, but there is the key to jump in here. I am going to put the room enabled, so... Please don't get on and jump on and do crazy stuff just yet. <laughs> don't don't do crazy stuff, please, please. All right. Um. Let's see. Let's modify. Oh, damn it. Uh, you'll see something on your screen here. I just need to get to here. Hmm. All right. Grabbing my green screen that's over on the other end, and I'll put it over here. Okay. John Evans, how's it going, John? Just give me a second, I need to... Let's go back to the short key, sorry guys. I meant to be on studio mode when I did that. And All right, let's turn this camera to me. All right. Let's see. Let's switch this around. Oh, that's on the wrong one. Let's take that out. All right, 
let's clear that out. Clear that. Clear that. Get chat in there. Uh. All right, folks, I'm just uh, fixing up the chat here. Jump on in here. If you want to jump on in, hit the uh, stream Zoom that I just put in chat. chat let's just turn that off Uh, two chats in there. What the hell's? Oh, that has chat in it. Okay. Turned it off. Filter screen. Trying to find the background here. Uh, we got a background picture, picture, picture. Intro. Not this one. Yeah, let's just do that screen instead, the short view. Come back to there. I'll just pull this here. We'll have the chat there. Switch this. All right. Uh, I think. How's it going? I'm fine. Full full. All right. Short feed there. Turn it on. Why is this show all squishy? Okay. Turn that off. Okay. <laughs> You're so squished. Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, the way when I project it over, it doesn't doesn't really show properly. Over to there. Hmm. All right. All right. Let's 
Just, I think we're going to go with that for now, I guess. We need to cut over there. Where's the... Turn the, that off, and then sources, landing zone, there. Let's come back over here. Scene. Hey guys. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Brian? Good. How y'all doing? Not too bad. I'm just trying to figure out how, on this skinny screen how to fix all this stuff. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. it's yeah. got to squish down, doesn't it? Well. For what it, they see something different than what you're seeing. That, that's that's the problem. Uh, yeah, you're not seeing what they're seeing, what they see. All right, so let me take that okay. out. Okay. I'm just trying to make it viewable, a little better viewable. Let's put the chat in there. Right. Just, there you are. Well, I missed the very end oh, of the horrible. rollout. Who won? <laughs> Uh, Blazer and Mrs. Big Money were the two. Uh, uh, yeah, I saw Blazer was ahead earlier. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, did well. Yep. That's good. Mm hmm. Okay. I tell you that last pretty decent roll you had before I got, mm -hmm. before I didn't make it. Yeah. Um, I was back to, I was actually $64 to the good. I was back above my $2,000 buy-in. Yeah. And I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. And uh, I was like, oh, crap. And about that time, you said. <laughs> Don't Another the five. came up and said, dice out. <laughs> yeah. That was bad. And the seven came. I was like, oh, crap. Yeah. Uh, but I right. had, I was, I was pretty much maxed out. So, wasn't anything I could do. I'm going to pin both of you guys here. And, uh, all right. Well, well come on, we'll Luke. Add, come on, girl. I think what I can do. Okay. So, we're going to go back <laughs> to the chat and see if we have the chat there. All righty, folks, if you have any questions, say hi. Okay, we got uh, Crafting with Froggy out there. How's it going? Uh, we have Margarita Elastica out there. King is out there. One what? Uh, we were playing Crapsy Live, and there were two ships that were won. They won the, uh, the collector chips here. Okay. The collector chips. A Barney chip that will be mailed to them as a Crapsy champion. Yeah. Uh, you may want to put up the uh, link if anybody else wants to jump back in. Yeah, we'll put the link back out there. Probably jump in, make sure I do it on the kick side too, I guess. Uh, Here's the link <laughs> to join. Good girl. <laughs> I guess what I could do to Give me a second. Uh, just blow this up <laughs> all the way. And you know, just get the last <laughs> little bit. Which 
chat. Then I can actually pull that other overlay, like up top here, make it a little skinnier. There you are. All right, and then pull that back there. Uh, at the bottom of the chat, right? What part of the country are you in, John? Uh, San Francisco Bay Area, East Bay. Uh, ah. Still sunny, okay. but it'll call me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I noticed you were sitting outside, and I was like, ah, oh, he must be on the West Coast. <laughs> yes, we know tomorrow we start, me and my wife. <laughs> oh. You're going to be going to Reno, you said? Yes, we uh, fly out tomorrow morning. What is your game of choice? Is it craps? <laughs> as far as craps, it doesn't matter the table, but I mostly okay. enjoy the entertainment of the game. Got gotcha. you. Right, I'm right. a firm believer. If I can win money on tables or poker or the high limit room, then I can pay for her slot play. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That does happen. All right, so question. I am not a gambler, but want to know how to survive or get ahead at a $15 crap table with a buy-in of 100. Is it possible? Uh, at a $15 table, it's pretty tough, right? <laughs> so if I was playing a $15 table only with a $100 budget, I'd probably pick a 410 or 59 and mm -hmm. and play right. either one number or two numbers and try to get out of out of the hand quickly. Um, yeah, it's 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 real difficult. You can't play all of that bankroll. You'll lose, you know, a good good portion of the time. So you could, you know, do a a, a don't and then a come bet. I mean, just play two numbers and uh, they balance each other out. If you get a PSO, uh, you'll get paid on both. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool chip, Vaughn. Oh. Hi, how's it going? Love this stream. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, Speaking okay. of which, Alfredo. Yeah. Oh, you got it. I got, I got uh -huh. it. Yeah. <clears throat> I was going to do a short live and open the package and. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do that later. No, no worries. <laughs> Just want to let you know I got it though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, several it, people at different parts of the country. Someone's like, "I'm in a rural, rural, rural area. I didn't get it yet." I'm like, "Everyone gets it at different times. It's crazy." Yeah. All, all shipped yeah. at the same time. Uh, thank you, Crafty says. Um, any questions you guys have? Uh, can you say okay? You're Huh? A sucker. Yeah. Uh, this. So this is the bonus show now uh, that we're on. Typically, we we have. Let's get fuzzier. Some of these other folks on. Come on, guys. Uh, low battery. <coughs> oh, there's King. Come on, right. guys. Yeah, come jump on in. Actually, let's. Uh, I think I can make this bigger. Give me a second. I'll keep resizing things this <clears throat> until people jump on in here. And I would add on a fifteen dollar table the to me the minimum buy in is around three hundred. Oh yeah. You need to give yourself at yeah. least ten ten chances at, at at winning and even with that, like you know, you can't play sixty six. Like you want to play sixty six, you probably need six hundred. Right. Yeah. I had to, oh, Toothpick Ted. How's it going, Toothpick Ted? Jump on in here. Come on, guys. Come on uh, in, Ted. Let's uh, get the link out. Let me see if I can get it out to to the folks over in Kick. There's quite a few of them. All right. 
I'll be right back with chat. I've uh, got 33 watching just right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, whoa, what is going on there? That's not an approved kick channel. Must have been where Ted went last time. All right. Here is the link over here. Is that Paisley? Uh, how are you doing? Here. Uh, Blazers jumping on. Hey, Matt, the big winner. One of the chip winners here. Blazer going to jump on. Add pin. Oh. I didn't want to replace it. I wanted to add him. Add. Here is the link over here. Yeah, turn your YouTube off, Blazer. Bada Blazer. Easily. Uh, how are you doing? Woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> woof, woof. Blazers jumping on. Hey, Matt, the big winner. Hey, all the winners here. How's it going? Is there... Hey, everybody out there? So, howdy, what howdy. was your strategy? You, you survived and then you just vaulted Blazer. up there. Blazer, make sure you turn on your. your Turn off the sound in the background and turn on the one for uh, Zoom there. Turn your YouTube off, please. Me? Yeah. You're double feeding. Yeah, we can hear both. <laughs> 80 percent on the screen. Hey, Bill. Is that Bill? Yeah. Let's. <laughs> Oh my God! I'm gonna mute you for a second, Blazer. Turn, turn your other sound out. Uh, all right, copy. We'll make this a bigger screen for all for everyone. Paste. All right, the bottom half. You know, Fredo, I just wanted to personally thank you for all the hard work you put into my entertainment of playing. <laughs> How long have you, have you, uh, been watching the show? Um, I would say the last three months I've had plenty of time for my leave from work. Okay. Enjoy Crapsy and get onto it. Enjoy videos. Or I can't stand watching TV because it's the same BS every time. Gotcha. Uh, yes. Yes. You want to watch something real? Oh, yes. <laughs> And honestly, it's more of my entertainment style. Yeah, yeah. Well. The mechanic to me, the most things I can fix as a mechanic, just when it comes to, you got 72 takes to get this scene right. Okay, let's print it. It's Taylor Dunn coming out. And, and <laughs> people believe it's real life. That's what it is. Yes, well, right? I think, I think uh, the replacement, I keep on doing this wrong here. I'm sorry. Adding the pen. Um, yeah, I think that the, the problem with, with a lot of the folks that are out there, right? A lot of them want to put something that's perfect out there. Well, that's not, that's not craps, right? We all know that bad things happen and, and most of my stuff is live. So it's unedited. Mm -hmm. It is what it is, man. If, if I have a bad day, it's a bad day. 
Got a day in the office. Nothing you can do. Um, Except wait for tomorrow. Or hope that you can figure it out. But, you know, hope isn't a strategy. We all know. And it can get lonely real quick. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm trying to <clears throat> fix the uh, stream here. All right. There we are. I guess I'll grab a beer. <laughs> is it shane or sean Paisley's out there either one of you guys want to take yourself off mute and chat with us might have to tell him where the uh mute button is alfredo uh it's it's <laughs> in zoom uh, I can ask them to come off you. There, there's Shane or Sean. Is it Sean or Shane? <laughs> Thank you, King. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of good out there. Today was not necessarily a depiction, but it it, it is what it is, right? You you get days. Even though there was, I think, potentially four double-digit rolls in there, it was bad. I mean, you you, you get three PSOs in a row. It, I mean, uh, depending on how you bet, there may be no coming back from that. Uh, mm -hmm. But if you're in a session and you only bought in for 500 and, and that's your walking papers, then it's probably time for a break anyways. Right on. So what do you do, Blazer? Blazer. So you said you. Uh, what was the the strategy that you used to sort of weather the storm and then take advantage? Today. Yeah. And um, you did it last today, week too. To, well, today I was um, actually um, practicing throwing and watching the show. And. <laughs> Practicing my toss. And then it got to the very end, and he said, last shooter. And I uh, and you noticed blasted. how low the scores were. Okay. So, yep, I jumped in, uh, the last shooter. And I reeled up. Uh, two... Actually. Yeah. Huh? No, no, no that was my volume. I had to mute it. Yeah, I, I real dumped for uh, two or three rolls, and then I uh, pulled back. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, I real dumped at the wrong time. I had, well, the stupidest thing, right? I got all the way back to where I was like plus almost 300. But it was out on the on the felt, so to speak, right? We're playing on crapsy, whatever. And, and uh, I just left it out there. And I said, you know what? I should regress because even if I regress and I leave a hundred out there, I'd still be up 200. I'd be 2,200. Right. And I, I didn't. And the seven I, came and I, it just made me spiral because I went all the way down to like 900 instead of being 2,200. Oh, so sick. This game sometimes. All right. So, Hey, sorry. My, uh, some, yeah, we can hear you now. I'm using my microphone. Yeah, uh, this is strange, strangey. Okay, um, strangey. Okay, I'm new to your. Yeah, I'm new to your stream. Um, started watching the last couple of days. Uh, usually, I uh, watch a lot of uh, color up. Stream. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Jeremy, he's a great yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah, and come to like your stream a lot better. I was looking for uh, streams that were doing, uh, you know, live craps loading, live craps. Uh, okay throwing a lot and i do i do them almost every day but the problem is right starting tomorrow i'll be in tampa actually live with with mark weber and a couple people that might be able to make it out there um yeah. i'm only there for one day then i'm uh i'm in a conference due to work and then late next week the following weekend uh i'll be over in chicago and so our chicago trips have been epic and i hope that they continue to be but you know that uh we have some really great shooters, great tables over there. Um, hit multiple. I mean, I think there's at least six of us that have hit full ATSs. I've hit the five point fire oh, really? bit there twice. Um, 
no one's hit the six point fire, but we've we've had several of us that hit the five point fire and the full ATS. Uh, we've had a four point fire and the full ATS in the same one, but that four point doesn't really pay, pay all that much um, other than the, the hits. Now, the big ones, I didn't hit a full ATS and they were even bigger than a full a ATS. I, I've had a 66 roller there last, last go. Um, a couple of big 40 rollers were literally pasted every single number. Um, like I, I think I had, if it was a repeater table, I would have hit the repeater on like five of the numbers, something like that. So it's crazy. Yeah. 66 <clears throat> is epic. Oh yeah. That was, it took two and a half hours for that roll, two hours and 50 minutes actually. Wow. Because I hit, 66% of the time a field, 33% of the time a horn, and of the other oh, yeah. hits, I hit about 18 to 20% hard ways. So every single roll, people were throwing money and they had to stop. Like, I think we got a third of the way through the roll and they literally said, stop throwing in money. We have to pay before we do anything because it was horn after horn and it was hard way after a hard way. And so people didn't want to miss out because they just saw the roll before they missed out. <laughs> and so it just got, it just got chaotic. It, the payouts were taking uh, a good four and a half, five minutes just to get everything situated between rolls. Right. So, good. Yeah. yeah, that, that was interesting. Are, are, did you hit the 66? Are you a dice controller? Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, if, if you watch my channel, I, I impersonate one. <laughs> yes, no, I, I, I've been shooting for for, oh. for over 20 years. Um, the longest roll that I had without without a 7 was my longest roll, which was over at the Orleans, right. a 98 roller. Um, oh, wow. Uh, I've had, in the last few years, I've added... 60 plus rolls that were three V sets. So that 66 roller um, was a three V set. Prior to that, I had nine that were over that amount and all of them were hardway set. So I've since sort of diversified what I'm using as, as sets and begun to see some mega roll territories that are coming from a three V set. I was with right. Samu. We're, we're doing a meetup over March 1st through the 3rd in Lake Charles for the folks here in Texas. And uh, Lake Charles is just right over the border of Houston over in Louisiana, about an hour away, hour and a half away. Right. Um, with him, I was over at the Golden Nugget over in Vegas, and I was late to Big AZ's meetup, because, <laughs> that, and we were filming that day because I'm... I'm I go over there. I'm like, I got an hour and like 45, 50 minutes. I, there's no way I'm going to hold the dice at one. Well, I ended up holding dice longer than that and, and rolled a 78 roller over at, at the golden nugget. And that was the first time that I had gone sick over 60 with the three V set. And that was a couple of years ago. So that was, that was a, a really nice roll. Mm. Zandler Castro is out there. How's it going? Xander? Uh, taking up the whole screen. Let me, let me try to get individual boxes here. This might uh, copy. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it on my other phone. It's yeah. not near as bad as what we're looking at. Oh You're yeah, yeah. Right. You guys are looking at at at, at bad. I know that. Uh, not much I can do there. Yeah. Um. Let's put this here. I hate doing this on a live screen, but it is what it is. We'll try to figure it out. Uh, all right. All right. We're going to copy this here. Copy. All right. 
This will be a little interesting when we get someone else that joins, because then I'll have to re resize all the boxes. Uh, let's go there. Damn it. Keep hitting the wrong button. All right. Here's Matt. Uh, let's go there. All right. <coughs> so you said you just found the channel, right? The other the other day, and you've been watching um, Color Up prior to that yeah i mean but i watch other channels too just not as much as color up and uh I is like it color the strategies well. that you that you look for uh, color up, uh, what's great about about jeremy is he's really great about you know just the how things look right and i think right. like for people and he, he's good at, at explaining strategies all right he doesn't care well, whether I yeah, I think uh, I went from like when I was starting out in craps, uh, you know, I was just playing for the fun of it. I mean, I probably didn't really seriously start learning craps till about 10 years ago. And um, and then, uh, you know, I, probably for the last, I would say, five or five or six years, about four, four years ago, three years ago, I started to really get seriously into like, hey, okay, hey, you know, this game I can make money at short of counting cards, you know, with uh, blackjack. Um, you know, because I'm pretty much in control of my betting strategy and stuff like that. So that's when I started getting into uh, understanding, okay, how do how do strategies work? And that's where Color Up came into it. And then, as I did a few strategies, some of them worked, some of them didn't. And then I was realizing, well, it's more than just strategy. It's also about how you're betting. It's intuition, and too. Like yeah, getting so, into those situations, yeah. Yeah, so slowly over the years I've come to the you know, come to the conclusion that it's not just strategy that's involved. Yeah, I I, I think that helps anybody that's learning craps to I'm expect if I make this bet, I'm gonna get paid this much back and you start to learn that uh, based on odds. Because quite frankly, when you very first start, it's an intimidating game, right? And oh, yeah. because you're you're looking at this board and you're like, you know, one says one to one, one says two to one, and then you then you know when I'm there at the table, the dealer's saying, "Hey, you probably should take triple odds," and you're kind of going, "What? What? 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 What do you mean?" <laughs> yeah. You know, and so then um, as you learn all that, and that's where the strategies come in, where people are explaining strategies, saying, "Well, this is you know this is what tr taking triple odds means." You start learning that, and um, realizing how those bets you know break down into those strategies and then you start to say yeah oh, well i like this part of the strategy and i like this part of the strategy so i'm going to start doing this and then when i'm in this situation i'm going to start doing this you start kind of messing around with ideas you know based off of that so now i'm you know like today during the tournament i was playing um i switched towards the uh about a little bit before the the middle of the game, I, I switched to dark side and started playing dark side, and yep. so uh, I did pretty well then until we started going. Uh, okay, last rolls, and then I was like just betting on whatever I could bet just to make money. So, I got you. So, uh, so the uh, but you know when I go to the the casino and play here in Arizona, uh, play craps here. I'm you know I I conservative at the beginning but when it comes to my role i sometimes get a little bit too aggressive because um but you know it is what it is it's like i said it's one of those love-hate relationships right yeah i agree like i think i think if you if you put in any time at practicing right or or even if you step up to the table you have to believe that you're gonna you have an opportunity to win the one side that has the opportunity you know on one shooter to win everything back and then get a get ahead is the light side 
the dark side, you can sort of do that if you're doing a lot of DCs with a come out seven, but it, it's right. very, very difficult to win on the dark side if you allow one shooter to kill you, right? Like if, right. if a shooter starts hitting points and, and come out sevens and yo's, it gets expensive fast. And the only way to make it back is either to ladder up or wait until the next next shooter. Yeah, and and typically when it's free money, like yeah. when we're doing crapsy, I'm not big on. I'll be, I'll be like, well, I'm laddered up. I'm just gonna stay that way, and you know, if I lose, I lose. When it gets now, it, when it gets to real money, it's a lot more conservative. So yeah. it's like, okay, well, maybe I should bring these back, and or I'll stop because this guy's just killing me right now, and I'm just stop till the next roller, and you know, it's. I mean, it it. It's not only the game itself is fun. It's also the that idea of like, all right, I got I not just the betting strategy, but also the strategy of how this roller is rolling, right? And you could tell when somebody's like has some sort of control on their dice rolls, and yeah. those that are just throwing random, right? Yeah. And you have to understand, hey, this guy has some sort of control. I'm I can't play dark side because he's not he's playing you know to make money and I know he could hit one of my points if I DC or whatever right so yeah uh, it's just one of those things where I you know the it I, I play the player too not just what I'm betting right and <laughs> almost and strategy, almost like so, poker huh <laughs> yeah <laughs> read yeah. read the table read the emotion. It, yeah. it, there's nothing like I've never seen a table that has had a bunch of bad emotion, right? People fighting, anything like that actually went in craps. When a table turns right. like that, color up your chips and go to a different table or just, you know, you're better off going and playing slots. And, and that's saying a lot because I hate slots. Right. And, and, and oh, I, I hate slots. Too. Yeah. Hey, Sean, can I ask you a question? Yeah. So basically, when you walk up to a table, do you observe the table before you actually get up to the rail? And once you get to the rail, do you and very cautiously go in and look for the dice controllers or the random rollers? Or how do you read a table well, from afar and, and at the rail? On a, at afar, the table that when I when I walk into the casino. Now, granted, I live in Phoenix, so. Craps is relatively new here, uh, probably the last, I would say, six months or so. So a lot of the casinos around me only had one craps table, so there wasn't really much of a choice. Uh, recently, they've started adding more craps tables, so it gets a little bit easier to where if if you walk – when I walk into the casino, I see a table that has a ton of people on it, and there everybody's having a blast and having fun, you know – table's doing well but then you go there's a table right next to it where there's only five people and five people walk away from it right and they're not happy they're not high-fiving each other so i kind of look at that and say well i want to get in on this this table that's here but it, you know it's all the table that's actually you know uh making the rolls now when i get to the table uh i will i i do not ever jump into the middle of action Right, so I always um, when I play, I always wait till uh, the button's off or something like that. And so, uh, and then when I come in, now I have made a s mistakes where I thought a guy was just rolling random, and then he gets into a and I play. I was playing dark side at that time because I play a lot of dark side sometimes, and he uh, he was just controlling his role. It was just killing me. So I stopped playing uh, when he was rolling. It would go to people that were random rollers, which I was doing a lot better with. and would make my money back up. So when it came back to him, I would just play, you know, uh, um, like squeeze play or, or like a double tap type play or something like that. Because I know he's going to hit a bunch of middle numbers. Thank you. Yep, he's been watching uh, Color Up. Sounds like a oh, Casino wow. Quest 2, maybe. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Alex is a great guy. I, You know, so we had an experience where on the Big AZ meetup that we had, he came over 
um, to our table, and it was bad. Like we were over at GVR, and GVR is either really good to us or, or oftentimes really bad to us, right? And so we're we're dunking money. People are not not necessarily happy. He's like, let's change it around, and he's like, let's go. Everyone go on the don't, right? And and we we go on the don't. He establishes a number. He ends up. I think he hits the number the first time around. The next time he establishes a, a number and then he, he gets a seven and everyone's all screaming and they're all happy. Then he gets to the next person. That person <laughs> tries to do the same thing, right? Like we're, we're trying to, uh, I hope this stupid thing isn't tracing me. No. Okay. Um, we try to do the same thing and that person instantly establishes a number and sevens out. Boom. You know, then it goes to Patty and he does the same thing. And it's just like, I think the uh, AZ has it out there on on one of the one of the films. It comes to me, and, and they're like, "Come on, Alfredo, let's do it." And I'm like, "You want a seven? You want a seven? I know how to throw a seven. I think I, I tell them, <laughs> I, I tell them, I go the hard way set, and I literally I said, "Torpedo the wall on the fly, boom, seven. And then I look down, I'm like, "I have a hundred dollars on the don't pass. Oh shit." <laughs> <laughs> I, I I lose my don't pass. Okay, I go one fifty on the don't pass. I say, okay, I need to establish a number. I establish a number. Then I say, you want a seven? I do the same thing. Uh, hard way set and on the fly, like torpedo the wall, and it comes rolling all the way back to me. Boom, seven, and everyone starts erupting and everything. Oh. And it was, it was uh, that was one of the few times where I'm playing the don't purposely screaming for a seven and hit it and you're just like erupting in emotion and it, there's just nothing nothing crazier or better than that uh something i wouldn't typically do but alex kim's there right and he's like come on guys <laughs> and he has his, his little dolphin laugh after it and uh it was it was pretty funny uh, we ended up going to the light side he gets all his money back we end up going to the light side he says, it's time to go to light side. I'm on a, on a really big roll. I hit a, a couple of points. Then, then he gets onto the four. He takes all his money down. He's like, this will quadruple my money and because he's already up. And he puts it all on the hard four. I'm like, dude, don't put it on the hard four. I, I don't like, like, I don't mind hitting hard ways, but you're better off just placing the four or putting it on the easy four. Right? right? And uh, yeah. placing the four. And then lo and behold, like, I don't know. Nine rolls later, I end up hitting the e easy four and not the hard four. <laughs> yeah, split it in half. Yeah, unreal. Half on the hard, half on the the place bet. Yeah. You said what? What part of the country do you live on? I live in Arizona in Phoenix. Oh, you're so, up there with Big AZ and all of them. Yeah, I, so I, I have live, a. Uh, a lot of friends. Uh, Matt lives right right there in Arizona. Yes, I do, Alfredo. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he lives. He lives in Mesa. There's a bunch of people over in Mesa. Oh, yeah. Tommy live lives in, in uh, Mesa. I live in Cave Creek. Yep. yep. Nice, nice yep. area. Yep. So, uh, but uh, the near where I normally play is Desert Diamond, uh, yeah. and. But I've been sw I switched over and started playing a lot more at um, Casino Arizona over on uh, Indian Bend. Uh, because that's Talking Stick or uh, yeah, yeah casino? that's Talking Talking that's Stick. Talking and so, Stick is, is one ahead. of the best casinos in the area. Yeah. Oh yeah, they got a. They've added what three craps tables over there now. So yeah. There's a, yeah. So it it's way way better than it used to be. Uh, they they had that uh, video craps where the electronic the video, one, yeah, yeah, the electronic, but you still threw dice. Not a big fan of it. Um, yeah, a roll to win. Yeah, I, I mean, roll to win. Yeah, I, I mean it. It's fun. I think it's it's a good. It's. I think it's great for people that want to understand craps because. Some of the one of the things is I, I call it table shy. My wife is table shy, right? She wants to play the game, but she's 
doesn't want to be embarrassed on making her bets on the table in front of everybody, right? And so, and not understanding the the odds and things like that. So I think the electronic craps is great, and I think the bubble craps is great for people that are trying to learn the game because they can move at their own pace, bet at their own pace. There's not all this, the you know, the confusion yeah. of the dealer and the stick man doing, you know, and the uh, yeah, you know, doing all these things that are kind of distracting what you're trying to do well, as you're trying to like. Okay, I'm going to calculate odds in my head if I make this bet. And it's e a lot easier like at bubble craps where if you – anybody could do math with, with a dollar. So if you you know put a dollar down on some bet, you it's easily to calculate what your odds are going to be on a dollar just learning, right? Yeah. And so I, I mean craps is, is probably the funnest game at the casino, mm -hmm. but – when you're winning, it's awesome. When you're losing, it's still awesome because you always have that feeling like I can come back. Fast. <laughs> and, not always. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but not always. But you get that feeling like I can come back from this. And but then uh, you get that. Um, but when when you don't come back to it, of course, you're always kicking yourself, saying, "Oh man, I should have done this. Should have done this. You know, instead of playing this way, I should have played that way." And it's just one of those things that learning experience because you're going to win and lose. It's an up and down game, just like any other game. So, um, and it, you know, it's about timing and betting, betting. It's, you know, looking at the people, understanding who you know is a shooter, uh, a, a, a dice control, uh, has dice control. I, I wouldn't say professional shooter, but has some sort of dice control. Their SSR is better than average, right? So, yeah. Uh, or SRR is better than average. So the, um, you know, that, that type of thing is, is what I look for now. But when I very first started, I didn't know any of that. So, and I just played, you know, parroted some bets that were out there on the table, still not understanding why I was making those bets, you know, and, and you don't, you know, when you get to a table and you're parroting somebody, you have no idea what, if they know what they're doing, they're just placing, bets out there right and and uh you know the easiest bet and the easiest strategy that i would say would be the iron cross right so the uh, uh and that's pretty much like a good starting point i think for people that are just starting to uh now does it win i would say i've lost more money on the iron cross than made money but it came it, but when, when i very first started but then it comes into how to place your bets and then your betting, right? Like, are you, are you going to push, you know, are you going to have push or whatever, you know, so that, uh, you can make, you can, you can benefit from, uh, making money or knowing when to regress and just get out of the, get out of the game altogether and wait for the next roller or just walk away or whatever, you know? So it's, it's also discipline, right? Like, oh, and that's true with any gambling game is discipline. Like if you come in and say, I'm going to spend, I'm going to bring a thousand dollars to the table and then you lose 800 of it. Can you say, well, I lost 800 and I'm just going to walk away with 200. Or do you say, oh, hell, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to, I'm just going to throw the 200 in there and hope something happens. Right. And yeah, yeah that's the mood of the yeah, table. Lucky. Yeah. That's and, and Sean with your wife. Um, I know my wife is shy, shy about walking up to the rail and the velocity to the table. And one of the right. first things I ever taught her was you have to know where the money is and what your spot is. Because every time you walk up to the table, your money moves to a different location. That is right. so important that you you cannot be intimidated of where's my money on the table. That's the first thing I would right. say she needs to learn. Yeah, and I when I tried to explain to her, I said, don't... <laughs> Throw your money out there. Don't worry. The dealer will tell you where your money's at if it's all. Yeah, but when uh, you can't see the pile, it's it's a oh, thing right. to a person right. of where my money. Yeah. yeah, right. That's another one I always try to teach anyone when they would be intimidated by it is you're standing that you know stick right one. Your money will be in this location no matter where right. it's placed on the table. This is your yep. little <clears throat> where. That yep. way they'll learn to bet and see their money out there and go, oh, I know why I got paid or didn't get yeah. paid. Yeah. And, and 
I've told her like, you will make mis I still make mistakes to, to this day. I was playing the other night and I had a come bet out and I, or I'm sorry. I had a, um, uh, not a come bet. I had a, um, uh, it was a contract bet. I'm trying to remember what bet it was at the time. And I pulled it back and they were like, wait, 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 that's a contract bet. I was like, Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I still make mistakes. I'm, you know, trying to bring my back my money, and I'm like, it's just part of the game. The dealer will tell you that you did something wrong, you know. So, the uh, that's what they're there for, you know. And so, don't be embarrassed, you know. There's going to be all skill levels at the game, and that's which is something that people have to get over, you know. It's like it's going to be somebody that walks up, Sarah played the game before. They're just going to make bets, and there's going to be people that have been playing for thirty years that know exactly how to bet, right? And so, or they follow the same strategy for the last 30 years and it's worked for them. So, you know, I, I and I explained that to my wife, but I think it comes down to like, there's too much math because when we go to the casino, my wife's drinking and, you know, and I'm, I'm like, well, I can't drink because I can't like, uh, um, I can't drink and gamble because I, I start to make crazy bets, you know, and so, and, um, and, and the only time I really, really, uh, Drink and gamble is playing roulette because really you don't. I don't really got to do anything, but pick a color. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's only two really, but there is a third yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. So sounds like back rack. <laughs> but yeah, it's. I mean, it it's a fun game, and and I'm slowly getting my wife into it. She wasn't really interested in the past few years, and she's a blackjack player, and I'm like. I'm telling you that craps is, you know, it's a lot more fun. Yeah. So, and it, and she's really, she is. And what's so weird about it is my wife is really outgoing at the blackjack table. But when we get to the craps table, just really silent. And I'm like, this is the place to be outgoing. If when everybody wins, everybody's excited, you know? So he's trying to figure it out. Yeah. yeah that's what it sounds like yeah. to me too, though. It's yeah. the inconsistency of the knowledge of I know everything about the seven hundred things that go on here. Right. Yes. But here, here's yeah. the other the other part of it, right? I, I think that you know, with craps, it's probably one of the very few games that has a majority disparity of men. There are a lot of female players, but mm -hmm. it's less yeah, than ten yeah, percent. It, it it's less than ten percent, most likely. In in some casinos it might be closer to you know 20 percent like over at the cow there's a lot of hawaiians that play and the percentage of hawaiian women that play compared to men is higher than just the normal population um right. but but it, it it's crazy i mean it can be intimidating you have all this <laughs> testosterone around you right you have people grunting when you're buying in and you have no idea why you, you don't know that right. if the puck on is on don't throw money on the table you know, right. um, uh, you're putting, they tell you in most places when, when, when you go to the casino and, and you don't know how to play, they try to teach you to put a pass line bet. And then you right. put a pass line bet and you're right down the line of a shooter and people are giving you the stinky eye because again, right. you don't know. Right. And I, yeah. I think it, it, it's, we need to do a better job just as an overall community of educating folks on the etiquette of the game so that you don't feel intimidated by it. Right. There's quite a few people that, that you know, I, I have some really old videos that, that talk through that aspect of it and and go through some of the basics. And I need to redo a lot of that stuff because I've been getting a lot of people that say like they like how I explain things, but I don't spend a lot of time editing videos. I hate doing that. I, I do majority of the stuff that I do is almost all live. I don't, you know, try to do a retake of even if I do a video, it's it's like it is what it is. <laughs> if it's a losing mm -hmm. a losing strategy that time, I just showed you the strategy. It can win or lose, you know, and right. and and that's my take on it. Um, because I, it, you know, time is precious as it is. Some of you might laugh at that because of how long I'm live all the time. But I love this game, right? I love this game. I actually go and put my money on the line playing this game all the time, and it can be a winning game. The only way that it's winning, no matter right, wrong, or indifferent, you have to adjust to whatever the table is giving you. I talk about right. betting the number that, 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 that's hitting. Don't bet what you want to hit. 
that what is hitting. Mm -hmm. Sometimes just going in orbit and obs observing will save you so much money and angst because you didn't just go blindly into the abyss and, and bet someone. Now, that's not to say that someone can't have a bad role and then all of a sudden have a monster role. But you can still be there for the monster <laughs> if you prematurely overbet and they don't have a good role. That can hurt. And even if you right. have a great shooter, guess what? He can pay, or he or she can pay for the 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 role if they roll well. Start low, maybe start only on a couple numbers. Let them hit your numbers, get out of the hand, spread out, and allow yourself to enjoy your time that that's there instead of worried about whether or not you're going to lose the money that you brought. And when it goes well, man, like I think all of you have said, it's it's. There's no other game like it because of the social aspect of it and that, you know, just emotion that gets running through you when everything is going well. And I have a thousand dollar 10 out there and it hits. Now, all of a sudden I'm like, holy, holy hell. Most of the time I have a thousand dollar 10 out there. It doesn't hit. <laughs> this person's like right. awesome. Right. Uh, it, it's, it's one of the, one of those things where, uh, there's nothing better in, in, in the world, and it's it's like its own little little drug. But you can't let that dictate how you how you play, how you bet. If you have a gut right. feeling, you have it for a reason. You've been through this before. Turn your bets off, regress your bets, whatever it is. Don't worry about what other people are, are, are thinking or doing. If you have a strategy and it re and involves regression, so be it. Sometimes you can make it easier on on the dealers. Right. Let's say you have 220 inside. You've built up to that point, and now you want to go back down uh, to 66 inside. That's a lot of change of chips from what were they're at at that point. Just right. hand them the 66 out of your rack and say, "Take me all down. Replace the inside with this. That's it. Right. Inside yep. 66. Yeah. Makes it makes it simple. Yeah. And that's the theory of you want to know what your next bet is when that is rolled. Before it's rolled, yeah, exactly, yeah. You you can't be thinking of what you want to do, and remember, just like you said, you know the spot on the table where your bet is. They're gonna go in the same direction every single time on what on paying you out and everything. I there's one dealer over at the Orleans. This guy is just like clinical. As soon as the the thing hits, he's paying. If you haven't told him already what you want to do. You're going to have the chips in front of you. He's going to, you're going to have to wait until he pays everyone else out before he's going to come back to you. Be ready with what, what it is that you want to do before, before right. that hits. Yeah. And that's fine with me as far as it's a full payout to make other bets come back to that dealer. There's other ones that like to do it. I'm changing it right now before I go to the next pay. And it, well, and yeah, I, um, what also about like about dealers is you get in some of those dealers that uh, know how you're betting and they pick it up immediately, like a strategy that you're they doing do. and they just, they mm -hmm. just start making the bets for you. Right. And that, that's where you're like, Hey, Hey, this, this dealer, you know, this is where I go. Tipping is going to be good for this guy. Right. And right. Yeah. knowledge. Yeah. 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 Cause he's actually watching the table and how people are playing. He's just not, you know, looking at whatever's rolled, figured out, bring everything else back to the, uh, you know, to the, the uh, I can't think of the name of the, uh, not, not the stick man, not the dealer, but the guy right in the middle that collects all the chips. Box. Hit boss. Hit boss. Hit yeah. Hit the box man, box man, box man. Oh, box. Oh. And, yeah. And, uh, brings all the, brings all those down and then, uh, uh, and then just pays out and then doesn't know, you know, just waiting for everybody. But, but then there's, uh, there's a, uh, those, those dealers that know that you're going to play the next hand. He's been watching you and they just get it all out there. And th those are the guys that I really like to have as dealers. And, and of course, if I'm not going to do that, I'm going to change it up. I just tell them I'm going to change it up. You know, it's not a big deal. Right. So, and, uh, yeah, but I, the, but in Arizona, the, it's relatively new here, so I see a lot of that more in Vegas than I do here in Arizona. And I think some of the dealers here are still kind of learning the game themselves, right? And 
Uh, but in Vegas, it, I see that more happen there where the dealers are actually competition. Yeah. Yep. Competition for the good jobs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Well, yeah, they, they want to get to Bellagio. They want to get to Venetian. They want to get to the, the places, the wind where they know that they can get bigger totes. And, uh, a lot of, you know, it, it's interesting because at a high level as a dealer, it's not only knowing the payouts, it's not only having those things, they start to look for personality too. Right. Right. When you're on the stick, do you make it an interesting game or are you like death to the table? <laughs> right? right. <laughs> because some people don't have that personality and God, you know, they, they just come and you're like, damn, I want to regress all my bets. <laughs> yeah. that, per that, that, that person on the team just showed up and I, I just never do well on, on, on it. Just, like, I think they, they say the stick controls everything. And so when you have a, a bad stick person or someone that's not controlling the game, people are getting late bets in other people are, are the, the, the emotions starting to turn bad because right. it's being allowed and it's up to the right. stick person to control that. Um, so when you have a really good stick person or just even a great dealer, they're going to say late, late bet, no bet. And they're going to tell right. them. So, so that tells that person, don't be throwing in late bets. It's not going to count period. Right. And yep. the box person is going to support them, the, 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 the pit boss, because they're going to want to support their person. Now, if they're, if they're sweating money or something like that, maybe they, 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 they book the bet, but then, then it's like, you're allowing for those bad things to happen instead of keeping a good, clean game, happy game where everyone is uh, getting back around the table. Right. Yeah. yeah you I mean, know, it's aggravating when they, uh, when they do let people buy in or, you know, when the puck's on. Right. And yeah. It, it's really it goes, it goes to company policy and everything else so they're they're keeping their job yeah 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 i i, I, I never I buy in when there's action show. sorry i have when I'm yeah. learning like up in murphy yeah up in murphy they they know me and they don't even ask me you know do you want to buy in I mean, I've let them know, you know, so many times that I don't like it when people buy it. It just messes the flow of the table up. You know, I tell them right. that all the time. And some of the some of the dealers listen to it and some of them don't, you know, because but, because the ones that don't, it's because they get used to the newbies coming in. Yeah, yeah. right. And, and we always have them. So, yep. Yeah. I mean, it's part of the game, and and the thing is, is if they, you know, if, I I don't mind people coming in and throwing money down in the middle of a roll, if it, even if it's my roll, but I don't do it to anybody else. So right, uh, right on, right on. Yeah, yep. So yep. I won't I won't complain about it because, you know, I know what I'm going to play. Usually, I I play a, a strategy on Crapsy for several months before i go in and play it in a casino and then and then i go when i go and play it in a casino i know exactly what i'm gonna do so if somebody comes in and throws money down or enters the table it doesn't really bother me because i know where i'm at uh mm -hmm. but uh i won't do it to anybody else because you know that i just you know i think yeah. it's just a you know a, a courtesy thing to do but there's a lot of beginners so they don't know that right yeah yeah, and on it's, a uh, uh, craps is an exciting game, and people go to the casino for excitement. Yep, a lot of times. Yep. yep. Yeah, I, I mean, there are some people that that when they do come to the table, they're really annoying, and and it's usually people that are super drunk, or it's somebody that you could just tell there's this like bad vibe out, coming off of them right and i was i was at uh desert diamond uh here in in phoenix and i had a guy that came right up to me on right right on my right side and i could just feel it was a bad, bad vibe from him and i was throwing throwing doing great and he places one bet out and as i throw i accidentally hit a stack of chips on the other side against the wall 
and it rolls a seven. And the guy, like, under his breath is cussing me out left and right. And I'm like, you know, it, you know, it's the game. I mean, if you, it, you know, if you don't like it, then I wouldn't play the game, right? So, yeah. it and, sounds to me like it sounds to me like he's somebody in there with his last dollar and then some on the table. Yeah, you know, yep. So, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, not a good situation to be in, and uh, yeah. Trying to pay the well, bills and everything else, yeah, yeah, and and I, that's one of the things that when I'm telling my friends, hey, you know, you should be playing craps, learn the game, and go play it. And but you know, you gamble with what you can afford to lose. Don't gamble your, you know, yeah. your rent or your bill money or anything bill, like that. Yeah. And so, you know, and I've been pretty blessed to be in a good situation that, you know, I. I can play this game at a higher level, but the, you know, I would say 10 years ago, 15 years ago, I was not in that situation. So I would be at trying to find a $5 table and making $5 bets and things like that. So, mm -hmm. and even the thought of me bringing a thousand dollars at a table 15 years ago was not even in my head, right? It was more or less $50 or a hundred dollars, right? To the table. Right. And, but, you know, um, as I learn the game and stuff, I start to, my bankroll starts to creep up and get larger and larger and larger. And yeah. I look for larger tables and, or I'll bet, make b larger bets on lower tables because uh, Desert Diamond, I think, is a $15 table last I was there. And then uh, Talking Stick is, a, is $10 tables. And so based on, and that's another thing is, you know the table the table minimum is not really a big deal for me now but it's one of those things where when you're very first starting out even a $15 table is like wow I got to make all these bets and that's a lot of money you know yeah. but the thing is is you know save up the money and and bet what you and if you want to play the game save up the money and you know bet what you you can afford to lose uh, I don't go into the casino thinking I'm going to walk out with you know, $5,000. I go to the casino thinking I'm going to lose what I bring in to bring in. Right. So, right. and, uh, and, you know, I, you know, I go I, like anytime I go to the casino, I go in there and, um, expect the worst and hoping the best. Right. So, uh, but, uh, because the, when you get, when you get around to other, um, you know, uh, uh shooters that are shooting and you still want to play the game even with those other shooters you just don't want to wait around for your next shot you know you have to accept that there's a little bit of luck involved with that right because you're going to have a random roller and things like that you're not controlling the dice like you want to there's people that are just you know open hand clutching throwing it straight to the back of the wall right and mm -hmm. it bounces all the way back to the other wall they throw it so hard right so the um, and you just kind of have to accept that fact that those days are going to happen too, you know, and uh, quite often, like actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I, this, 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 this thing coming up, yeah. I mean, the, the game is awesome, right? And I love playing it. And you know, I, you know, when someone comes to the table and they put, let's say, a ten dollar bet at a ten dollar table, and that's all they put. You know, I to me, I'm in I'm in my zone when I'm playing. I'm not worried about what somebody else is betting, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, if somebody's throwing down a thousand dollars on the pass, and I'm putting down twenty five. I'm not, I'm not really thinking. Oh wow, they put a thousand dollars down. I got my own. I'm worried about making my own game and making my own profit. You know, right? Yeah. Alfredo, did you get any questions? Uh, there, there's, there, there's one, uh, we'll get to it. Uh, first, uh, shout out to Levi out there. Levi, how's it going? Uh, we have, uh, rest in peace as, uh, you are cool. Keep it up. Uh, we have a question here, uh, from your local artist. Uh, it is, what is your favorite show? I think that can go a lot of different places, but before we get into that, as of right now, we have a ton of different votes onto the uh, on onto the Super Bowl. Three hundred, in fact, 
316 votes out there. KC is winning 66% of the votes. 66% of the people out there, that is uh, two thirds, believe that KC is going to beat San Francisco in the Super Bowl. Uh, wow. Okay. All right. So, what what's your favorite show? I guess uh, we can go around ar around the horn. I'll, I'll I'll finish that one off once uh, it comes back around. Oh, do you do you even watch TV anymore with with uh, Netflix and everything else out there? I guess no. you can have a favorite show on Netflix. You know, I don't even know the last show that I watched, even a movie. Um, <laughs> I, honestly, I mean, you know, I'm usually, you know, it's either for me, it's either, you know, I'm watching a craps video or playing in a tournament or <laughs> yeah. I, now I do, you know, since I live in a fifth wheel, I do mm -hmm. watch a lot of maintenance videos you know for my fifth mm -hmm. wheel okay. um so and, you know and i follow some a bunch of people that travel full-time so i'm you know i'm watching their stuff too but we don't really watch a whole lot of uh tv me and my wife don't okay. so i would say probably uh, your fifth you know, wheel videos or or yeah or, uh, okay Craps, craps videos. Craps videos. The, the TCS Alfredo uh, <laughs> nightly no uh, tournament. No, bra no brownie points there, buddy. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, Matt, What? Uh, what's your favorite show or, or shows? I don't know. I guess you could consider YouTube because we, we're on it so much. Yep. Um, so yeah, I, I, um, I totally, uh, just watch the computer actually. Um, I haven't mm -hmm. had cable for uh, years. Um, uh, to I me, can was, relate. Uh, yep. Yeah. There, there was nothing real on there. Uh -huh. um, it's all scripted. Uh, yeah. why do I want to watch even it? the reality yeah. shows, right? Scripted. <laughs> <laughs> everything. <laughs> Most everything except <laughs> documentaries. Yeah. Fantasy Island. Yeah, so I am. Uh, I'm. I'm pretty much just watch craps on uh, YouTube now, studying craps. And uh, before that, I did. Uh, I watched gold prospecting. I was into gold mm -hmm. prospecting for a long time. Yep. Mm. And uh, yeah, that was that was fun. I did that as a hobby as well. Okay. Yep. I actually the still old... do that now. Gold fever. Well, I need to talk to you guys about that. <laughs> Man, that's one thing my wife and I want to do while we're traveling. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so and, did we uh, did, did we decide if it's Shane or Sean? It's Sean. Sean. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, Brian. You you wanted to do a little gold prospecting around the around the U.S. or up in Alaska? What were were you gonna just, just wherever we're at? Um, Actually, up in Murphy, that's what, that's a big place for, you know, people that are prospecting uh, in the creeks and rivers up there. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the RV park right across the street from Cherokee, from the casino there. Uh, yeah, Murphy, not Cherokee. Um, just talking to a couple of people that live there pretty much full time. Yeah. That's one of the things they do in the rivers around there. Right. And, you know, they don't get rich off of it, but, you yeah. know, it's something to do and yeah, uh, it's healthy. they enjoy it. Um, so, but yeah, and, you know, speaking of the full time, you know, me and my wife are four months, 10 days, and what time is it? <laughs> three hours and uh, three hours and thirty-two minutes away from me being retired. So, oh, I'm wow. already retired. You got one of those ass. little clocks on your desk or something like that? <laughs> no, I can I can look at my phone and tell. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, oh man. Yep. Yeah. I'm not far from it. So Sean, what's uh, what's your what's your favorite show? It, is it something on the computer or, or, or do you uh, have a So uh lately my wife and I have been watching on Netflix a show called The Brother's Son. The Brother's Sons, I think. And uh I really like that show. Um I'm watching a few net different Netflix shows here and there. Uh, Another Life is one of them. Reacher, I've been watching Reacher. Yeah. So, um, but uh, yeah, I mean that's as far as my wife and I kind of have a uh, couple of shows we watch together, and one of them is The Brother's Sons lately, and uh, of course a bunch of the Star Wars ones and uh, oh, yeah. on Disney Plus, but. Uh, outside that, when I'm not watching the show, I'm a software engineer uh, yeah. by day, so uh, I'm either watching YouTube videos on AI stuff, or I'm trying to figure out how I can apply AI into uh, calculating better odds and strategies and betting strategies in certain situations and, and uh, craps, and then uh, I also trade uh, Bitcoin, so... Ah. A big Bitcoin trader, so uh, which I'm really enjoying today, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Success in a thirty year old. <laughs> yeah, so it's 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 been a it's been a good day today. But the um but outside that it's it's either either watching about Bitcoin craps or uh um programming. Nice. John, what 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 do you uh, what do you uh, watch? What's your favorite show? Well, I would say on broadcast TV since we only have a antenna because okay. in the Bay Area we do have many broadcasters that we can get with a I don't know twenty dollar poke it in the hole thing. Yeah, yeah. We don't pay for TV. We have great internet, <laughs> but most of the children here are still in my house. Not to say they're children. They enjoy their computers. As far as the show on TV, I would say the only one I try to regularly watch would be like Young Sheldon or oh, something yeah. on PBS. Yeah. Or do, and personally, my video preference or anything gambling, poker, odds type stuff, or anything that's cooking, I love to produce Cook. food. Very so nice. My stomach nice. loves good food. Or Well, I, I love eating food, so... Yeah. I love eating good food. D ditto oh, ditto with, with, with that one. Uh, I used to like a lot of sci-fi. This really, you know, even the sci-fi channel now, this does, does, has a bunch of rubbish on it now. But uh, So it used to be a lot of Star Trek. Grew up watching Voyager and Enterprise and, and all that. I, I would say now, you know, either... Um, I, I watched the Gold Rush shows, so so that that that's something. Um, a lot of the shows that I watched are just like done now, like Walking Dead. Uh, I think there's a bunch yeah. of spinoffs. You know, <laughs> HBO had that uh, good series as well. Uh, so yeah, it, it's a lot of online stuff, probably more than anything else, as far as uh, what I watch, and it's uh, some other. Craps content that that that'll that'll look and watch, and you know what? I really like watching train wrecks. You know, um, <laughs> and so the biggest train wreck sometimes is. Cars. Oh no no not not literal train wrecks. So, oh. um, but I'll, I'll explain. I'll explain. So, uh, uh, I will. I like watching Steve will do it, and and I feel for the guy right when he gets into these tizzies of being up 400 K and then lo losing a million. And it's just like, dude, stop. Like, right. I think yeah. I messaged, I messaged mm -hmm. one of my friends and I'm like, I can't believe I'm watching this. Right. And, 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 and he messaged back. He's like, yeah, this is a nightmare, man. Like, like, like but we're both watching it. Right. And, it, and, right. It, and it's just like, who in his nexus can, can really. And, and I think you saw, um, what is it? Neiman, uh, one of the poker players, it, it, Bob, they call him, uh, he, he goes over there and he's trying to get him to have a limit and he blows past that limit. The chat's blowing up saying F Bob, F Bob, because they want to still see him 
asks for more markers. You know, he's he's in the whole 400k. He's asking for more markers. It's just, uh, wow. I I feel, I know he has money and he can pay that off. But it's never fun to be up so much money and then lose it all back, and then come right. day after day following that and go bigger into the hole and bigger into the hole and bigger into the hole. That's why. I, so, you know, I have friends that play craps at a, at a high level as well, and and. I play at a similar bankroll sometimes that they do. So I've been able to be lucky to be able to afford the the fact that's been paid through profits of playing the game that I can play at a high level. And I can go blow and lose entire taken bankrolls and I'd still be okay and not touch my bank. However, right. I still wouldn't, I couldn't stomach having four trips in a row that we're all losing. And and right. and at points in those in those sessions, he was up triple what he lost, and it's just like, dude, you need to know when to stop. You're ahead. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing that that I respect really about his friend Dana White, right? He's a great ga gambler. He will leave the table up sixty thousand dollars while he's playing a thirty thousand dollar bet. He's up two units. He's gone. That's nuts. Now. I'm not going to go up two units if, let's say, I'm, I'm playing, you know, one ten inside and my units are fifty bucks. I'm not, I'm not going to leave the crafts table at fifty bucks, right? I'm looking to go to the crafts table, make five hundred, a thousand, you know, more than that. Um, but I will leave down one hundred and fifty. I'll leave up one hundred and fifty if it's been an up and down session and we've never gotten over the hump. Uh, but right. yeah, no, for for me. I, I don't know what draws me to watch him. Like, I like the guy's personality. I think he needs better friends. And and, and hopefully to listen to some of them. Yeah. And say I've seen it. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I'd, uh, I'd like to ask a question, uh, Alfredo. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, how many of us are on Discord? I am. I, I am. Yeah. You are all right. Yep. Yep. Yeah, maybe I'll uh, try to find you there and. Uh, well, I have a see. different name. Um, uh, so uh, on Discord, but I will, uh, you know, uh, give you the name. Have, like I don't know how we could do it offline or whatnot. Have yeah, you just, Have you uh, joined I'm, Have you joined my Discord? <laughs> which one is that? Uh, Texas Crap Shooters. Oh yeah, I'm on. No, I'm on yours. That's okay. what I'm saying. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cool. Good. Cool. I, I should yeah. be able to see you on there some sometime. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not enough so. people use that. Actually, what I'm finding is there's a lot more engagement on my private Facebook group than anything else, which is sort of weird. What really? Yeah, I have over. We're nearing about a thousand, and there's people posting every day on it. Oh, so good. Yeah. I've seen your uh, Facebook page. Yeah. Well, it's not the page. There's a group. There's a private group. It's mm -hmm. Texas Crap Shooters Craps Community. So go join there. You have to ask a couple of questions. If I see you applied in there, I'll, I'll disapprove it. It's pretty simple. Yeah. But it, it's private. So anything you post there, other people can't see it. Now, if I post on my page, which is public, they can see only my posts. They won't be able to see any of your responses or anything like that if you respond because it's on the page. So, yeah, pretty good with computers. You are Alfredo. Yeah, that guy is a brilliant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm a I'm an old soul that's still pretty young. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Is it Viagra? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. What, what do you, what do you, is it rude for me to ask how young are pretty young means? Um, uh, I'm in my early, early forties. I'm going to be 44. Uh, in April. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah you're a baby. I can tell. Yeah. I'm a baby. <laughs> 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 only, only, only when I cut my hair, if I cut, if I cut my facial hair, I'll, I'll probably look like a baby. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, I, I just turned 50. So yeah. And, the uh that was a big that was a big change for me 
Cause I was like, mm -hmm. all right, I, you know, I feel, I still feel like I'm in my thirties and I turned 50 and I'm like, I'm 50. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah. you want to talk about a train wreck. So I'll share with you my gambling first story. Right. Um, I turn, I was going to be turning 21 and I might, I have some, some aunts that go, to, go to Vegas all the time. Right. We, we were taken to Vegas multiple times because we had some family friends that lived there. We'd go to circus, circus, do all that stuff, but we can never gamble. Right. And so right. I was going to be turning 21, had a really good sales job and I was really good at it. And I was an idiot. I didn't know that young that you're not supposed to take I think what was it like twenty four thousand dollars that I took, and I don't even I don't even take that now. <laughs> That's how stupid this this is, right? Like I don't, I don't even usually I don't even take, I yeah yeah I, I don't even take really sometimes a fourth of that, depending on how long the trip is. If it's if it's a shorter trip, probably give myself about fifteen hundred a day. Um, that gives you a barometer of what what I might might take depending on 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 the length of the trip, and and so. Uh, I take $24,000. We, you know, my aunt loves the Flamingo. She's getting comps over there and everything. So we go to the Flamingo. I'm at a $3 uh, Betty Boo machine, right? And I'm putting in 100 after 100 after 100 after 100 after 100. Some $18,000 later, it had only hit several times at the highest a $50 payout, right? Her love meter never really hit. I said, fuck this. I'm never playing slots again. Excuse my language. But I'm like, I'm not playing slots again. This, this, this is horrible. Like, how, how do you, yeah. like, I was literally sitting there, like, it has to hit. It has to hit. I've fed this a bunch of money. It has to hit, right? And, 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 and my aunt's on a, on a machine, two, two things over the same stupid machine, Betty Boo, and, and she's hitting jackpot after jackpot. I'm like, this is insane. And she's playing at a quarter and, and winning yeah. bigger jackpots than me. And I'm playing at three bucks. And I ended up finding blackjack and I had already knew how to count cards and keep a light count. I made during that trip about 70% of my money back playing blackjack. And I'd always hear the people screaming over at the craps table. And so the first time I ever played was during that time too, but I had no idea what I was doing. I took some of my winnings over there from the blackjack table over to the crap table. And I, I same bet. I didn't have, had no idea what the hell I was doing. Um, try to emulate what other people were doing. And it just started seeing the money flow out. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to leave this. Maybe I'll come back when they're, they're screaming again or something like that. Um, later on further, probably about a year and a half after that, I started really playing craps more seriously than I built the throwing station, started throwing. I, I was a one handicap golfer in high school. And so hand-eye coordination stuff, stuff where you can actually train yourself and do repeated motions. Like I get ultra competitive about that stuff. So for me, I put in the time and I started getting really good at it, but I still didn't make any money. Why? Because I was just saying betting. I mean, same betting, you can, you can win your money back. You can sort of stop yourself from losing too much. Um, but you're never really going to make a ton of money same betting. Right. And so, but you're never really going to lose a lot either for the most part. Um, I sat next to some Hawaiian guy, a uh, couple, couple, probably like three and a half years in to, to playing. And he's like, dude, you are shooting really well, but you're making nothing. And, and he's over there like betting, I think three thirty inside to start. Uh, I have like 300 bucks in front of me, right? I'm like, I, I'm not, I don't know this game well enough to, to go out there and blast. And, and he, he's like, just follow what I'm doing, do it at this level. But you know, when I say press, you press whatever, when I say collect, you collect. And he shot really well. I shot really well. He shot really well. I shot really well. I think there was like a cho one choppy time through and all the other times were like really good rolls. Um, I ended up going from a rack with, with 300 and red to a full rack of green, a full rack of green. Then it turned to one full rack of green to a full rack of black to another full rack of black. 
the entire rack all, all black. And then I got all the way to where one of the racks was halfway through a $500 chips. And it was just wow. playing with this guy. I was shooting crazy well. He was shooting crazy well. And we, we sat there for hours and ended up one of the <clears throat> biggest color ups that I ever had. And it, 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 it instantly hooked me to the game. Like, okay, that day I thought I had learned a lot about the game. What I really learned was how to lose more money because now I know how to press. And mm. I had no idea, like he was telling me when to regress, not why he was regressing or whatever. And, and so I had no idea, you know, the, how many hits I should be looking for. What, when, when should I be pressing? Should I be pressing all of them and all that stuff? And, and it wasn't until later that you start experimenting, you start figuring out, okay, no, uh, I can't go for six or seven box hits. That's clearly not going to happen very often. Uh, and you start lowering it down and then you start, okay, that, that, that's a little bit better. You lower down some more and then you're like, okay, that, that, that's better. But for the longest time, Blackjack funded my craps play. And for the most part, it was a lot of losing. And it wasn't until later on when I really learned how to both shoot and even better how to bet that I, that I got really, really, really good at the game. And uh, you have to be really good at betting, even more than shooting. Go understand how to win playing on a random person. And if that's, you can do that on a random table that's choppy and you, you can win, then you're you're in a in a much better spot than most people. Mm, that might be the uh, next stage that I'm ready for next. Uh, I've tried shooting over and over, and uh, yeah, it's hard for me to change my betting style. I have to learn it slow and get familiar with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's more of a betting game than anything else. Like you wow. have to, for sure. Yeah, so I, here's I, my bankroll for this weekend. About sixteen hundred dollars for three days. Not to say I can't get more. Yeah. As far oh. as the uh, group here or anyone out there watching, what is it you? I always say I don't try to teach at the table. I always put it as the perception of I would do this. If the person next to me or the question asked of when they put their pass line bet right there, I would place right. that up on the put or, you know, mm -hmm. right. so that's just me of, I try to tr train the easiest way or persuade people to do something, but only as I do this. That's the, I, I, I teach. No, I, I agree with that. The, I don't want anybody going in saying, thinking that I am, you know, a uh, top pro no. thrower. Oh, I, yeah, I don't, I don't like people betting crazy on me because uh, IPSO like anyone else, right? Like right. you're gonna, you're gonna have short rolls. Guess what? That that's right. part mm -hmm. of the game. Yeah. The the reality yeah. is, if you if you practice enough, you're gonna have more long rolls. And some of those yeah, long rolls are not going to be just long rolls. They're going to be mega rolls. And that really only happens for people uh, more frequently for those that are actually practice shooters. You, you, anyone can find a random long roll. But can you do it multiple times in the same, in the same session? That's probably right. not a random shooter. Yeah. So, I mean, and one of the things I've done to practice shooting is I've actually gone out and bought um casino dice mm -hmm. and I need those. Uh, and do what i need those dice just to oh, hold yeah. them in my hand yeah <laughs> and i have several sets of them and i've uh, created a uh, throwing station i've set it to the dimensions of what i'm used to throwing at the casino and just practice throwing over and over and over again uh, one of the thing one of the tips that helped me a lot was when I have those two dice in my hand, I actually took two of them and super glued them together so that when I grip uh, the dice that are on the table, that I yep. get used to that, that heaviness and 
the grip of it without having to worry about trying to see if there's no gaps or anything in between because I do not like to have gaps in my my grip. Yeah. And so I super glue them together, and I even put a level on one of them, uh, a small little level on one of them, so that I could see if I'm setting straight when I want to make my throw and stuff like that. So super glued one of those onto it too, and that's helped with my throw being consistent a lot. But it doesn't mean that you're still not going to have the short rolls. And a lot of people have that misconception of like, oh, you you know how to control the dice, so why don't you just roll a five for me? Well, it doesn't really work like that, right? So it's I have I, my my throwing is better odds of not hitting the number that I don't want to hit, and yes. the uh, number we never talk about. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and, and that's another thing is I'm not really. <clears throat> superstitious at the table so if somebody comes up and says seven at the table and whatnot i'm not superstitious but i know other people are so mm -hmm. i try to stay away from saying seven so i'll say big red or you know something like that and the uh but i'm definitely not superstitious when it comes to the uh you know uh to the table and people just saying seven like talking seven or setting their dice on a seven you know, yeah. the dealer will try not to pass you the dice on a seven. None of that bothers me at all. But I know it, I know some people come and play the game, and it does. Yeah. T -S -T, yeah no, baby. It's, it's a fickle, fickle uh, thing is gambling. Like, uh, you, you just have to – everyone has their own superstitions, and some of them are real for them because that's what they're looking for. And so right. it's, it's what you call, you know, the – the Locked. confirmation bias, right? They, they, they're confirming yeah. it just because they're always looking for it. And they're not telling you when it's not happening, right? If every time there was a stick change, it was a seven, you wouldn't have any long rolls. Right. Right. Or they would just change the stick, man, every three rolls. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, so. I had somebody asking me about, you know, dice influencing, dice setting, dice control. <clears throat> and I basically told them that I can't tell you what numbers I'm going to hit on, on any given time, you know, and I'm not that good at it mm -hmm. in all honesty, you know, but I know what numbers with certain dice sets that I tend to hit the most of. Right. Yeah. And those Probably. are the numbers that we try to target. Right. Yeah. So it, it's, you know, Every, like you were saying, you know, everybody has their own ideas of, uh, you know, what it really is. You know, a lot of you people that are, that don't believe in any form of dice influence are going to say, once it hits those that alligator wall, it's totally random. You right. know? Yeah. So, but I mean, the you know, yeah, I I agree, but you know, I played quite a bit where i played with someone that i knew could control the dice mm -hmm. and more often than not he was winning and um so it's not so it's kind of when i'm at that table and i realize there's there is a big difference between a random shooter and somebody that has some sort of contr control on their dice as a controlled and it's a consistent throw, things like that. They have a landing zone, things like mm -hmm. that. That, uh, and they're consistently winning. It's not saying they're going to win every time, but they're doing what Worth they the expect best. they're going to do it. Yeah. So it's one of those things that that I disagree with anybody saying that you can't uh, influence the dice. But I get where they're coming from because once it hits on a corner or if it does that, it's going to go random. Yeah, right. I mean, that's it. That's it in a nutshell. We know it's going to go random. You're not going to be a consistent thrower. Even the best out there aren't 100% consistent. So mm -hmm. it, it's just one of those things that, you know, I wish I, wish I could say, hey, I'm going to roll a five now. I'm going to throw, I'm going to roll a hard six for you. I wish I could do that. But, you know, uh, it is, but you know, when I when I set my dice, I know in a certain way, with my experience of throwing and my, I try to stay consistent. 
I know that I'm going to stay away from Big Red most of the time, right? And uh, but and when I don't want to throw a seven, I set my I set with the seven. So the um, it, you know it's just one of those things that I know there's a lot of people out there that don't believe it, but that that it has any influence. But I've played with I have played with people that I know are dice controllers and and they're winning. So. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, <laughs> last several trips up to Chicago. Yeah, go look at the videos. Yeah, we had eight people in in one, well, seven people in one day, all make over ten thousand in profit. Yeah, well, it's just like any other game, like blackjack. You know, the the the, the casino is always going to have an edge. Well, yep. if you count cards, you take away that edge, right? In blackjack, so and you're you're a little bit more in your favor doesn't mean you're going to win 100 percent of the time even if you're counting the cards so the it's the same way with dice control it doesn't mean you're going to win every time but you're giving you right. a better chance of winning so uh, if you could control you're hammering the dice. you're hammering the variant you're hammering yep. the 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 trend when the trend's in your favor you know what to do with it and when you right. have that big win you know what to do with it you don't put it right. back on the felt Yes, you know, you get a big roll and you, you win six, seven thousand dollars, you're not gonna go out there and put a thousand on the table right away. You might start back at 110 inside. Yeah. It's gonna take a lot of 110 mm -hmm. inside losing to lose all that back. Now you're right. you're a dummy if you stay at the table and you lose like four or five of those in a row and don't collect anything. <laughs> you you right. need to be right. you know, hit hitting the bricks because you're 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 just you're not playing with your brain at that point. Mm -hmm. You're playing with something else. All right. Yeah. Is it a dog? <laughs> oh, he has a cat. He has a cat. Uh, yeah. So let me ask the question to the audience and or members mm -hmm. here. Of what's the best ATS hit you ever seen? Seen or oh or God. or or I was the one one that won it. Well, I could just say I was at the Atlantis Arena and four were hit in a row, including myself, and that was four half checks. That was just like, oh my God! Four four seven, full ATS hits or or or, or no, sites no, of the everyone ATS. got one, and it was over twenty five rolls each. Oh, four different shooters. Wow! No, I, I, I've been at the table where one shooter hit it twice. I I've, I've hit uh, a fool in in two sides in the same roll. I've been at a table where during the course of the day, because we were there for a long time, three separate people hit the full ATS. That's Crazy! Good. I mean, you, you're you're, you're just it. oh yeah. Oh, I'm I'm always I'm, I'm on it. It's just whether I'm or not I'm, I'm on it for a lot or. Or, or a little. Unless it's a random. Yeah, oh, even on random, I, I, I like depends on the casino. If I'm at like Golden Nugget in Vegas, I'm probably on it every single time. The their table's pretty bouncy if you get it too close to the wall, and it seems like I see randoms hit it hit a side of the ATS all the time. It it it, it it's sometimes unnerving, right? I'll, I'll leave a two and a twelve, <laughs> and 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 I'm pissed at myself, and I'm like, here's this person walks up. Six rolls in has already hit the tall. I'm like, what? <laughs> what is wrong with this game? Unreal. <laughs> right. I, I play. I play it if the casino allows it. Yeah. Is. Yeah. It's I'm it's changed the game, the and you need a different bankroll because I really didn't realize. So so because I I hit it so often now, right? I played at I tried, the Orleans for so many years. And I hadn't gone out and played anywhere else. They they, they did really well by me. I, I had all the comps that I wanted. My father would go up there when he was still alive and, and uh, you know, got treated to movie tickets, paid for the rooms, paid for all the food, you know, uh, uh, different, different shows that were in town. So I never really went anywhere else. And I was really good at the tables over there. And then they, the last probably two and a half years, they've changed the tables 
so many times I can't even count. Like in one month, they had one table changed four times. <laughs> it's like, what the hell is going on here? Right. And, and mm-hmm. they keep searching, they keep searching for whatever is going to give them the right, you know, win rate, I guess, that they, that they want to have. Um, and, and I realize, okay, all these other places have the ATS and I, I go there one time and I'm, I'm hit, I hit a side I hit another side. Um, I still make <clears throat> most of my money from hitting long rolls and hitting repeater bets. And so, so I was like, okay, let me start playing this. Let me start trying to hit the ATS. And, you know, I think it was like two years ago, I started on the streak of almost every single time I had a trip, I had a full ATS hit at some point. Um, last year I broke that streak twice where I didn't have, have one, but, uh, what was good about one of those trips that I didn't have one is three of my friends had one. <laughs> so I didn't, oh, yeah. I didn't care. Right. Yeah. I, it wasn't like I had that for one, one of them. None of us had it. So that, that, that sort of sucked, but you were on it. That's um, all that mattered. Well, yeah, yeah and I, I was care. on it. I that's what matters. Well, it, I, what I care about is, am I pissing my money away? Because if I start to play 25, 25, 25, and not a side is hit, I'm losing a lot of money, right? If, mm-hmm. I, if I'm playing even 10, 10, 10, you know, you, you escalate from 5, 5, 5 to 10, 10, 10. If you go 15 shooters without hitting it, and you include the come out losses of it, right? Maybe you're on the line and you protect it, but you have to count the hedge because sometimes you're putting up a hedge and you're not, you're not even... You're not even uh, winning it. I mean, you, you're probably out a lot more than 150 50 bucks. You know, you're mm-hmm. probably out maybe 250 mm-hmm. bucks. Yeah. And think about that. If you're buying it in for 250 and you're playing like that, you, you, you're not buying in for enough, right? So that's where, like, even at 1,000, if you're playing 10, 10, 10 on every shooter, you're not buying in for enough. You need to have a separate bankroll for that alone, including right. the hedge. Yeah, it's uh, and it gets expensive. But I was over at Lake Charles, this one guy, every single time, 25, 25, 25. And he would literally have 66 inside. I'm like, dude, you're not even supporting the bet. Like, how are you ever going to win it? It, it, it's, it, it? it baffles me, right? I see people play blackjack and they play a $10 bet. And I think at Boomtown, I want to say in Biloxi, they require you to play five, five, five on any of the their bonus bets, and they allow you to play a five dollar bet. And I see a lady walk up, she gets a bunch of red chips, and she plays five, and she puts five, five, five. I'm like, so if you lose all three of those bonus bets and you and you win your hand, you're down ten bucks. So right? Are you nuts? Like the the math isn't right. Like if you want to even support that. You probably need to be playing 30, maybe 50 to support playing 555 each time on every single hand. You're not going to get enough flushes or straights or whatever. And, 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 and like people are playing the lottery and the casino is allowed to do that. that That's nuts. I put 25 on the line with my $15 bet. That's how I would explain it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would yeah. say that's how I do it. <laughs> well, no, you well, could do you could do fifteen and fifteen and five, 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 right? That that's a straight cover, two dollars on your crab check that doesn't quite cover everything, right? You're down a dollar because it's going to pay fourteen, but that's if you want to break even. Everyone knows I don't like breaking even on the come out roll. I like taking advantage of it because I throw a, I throw a lot of horn numbers and I throw a lot of come out sevens and a lot of yips, and so yeah. I want to hammer the come out roll to pay for my other bets. So I'm going to use that action to, to drive wins usually. And everyone, I'm usually the total opposite. I'm on the come out six and eight. Okay. Oh, you're working it. Uh Oh, (laughs) I see. Don't work. Uh, That's just me. though. (laughs) Well, if it's only two bets. Oh no, no, it's okay. It's okay. I mean, trust the bet's going to have to win at some point. Right. Well, well, you you may as well morning. collect if it's a PSO. At least you collected a bit. Yeah, I've mm-hmm. lost many a times with you throwing. Though. <laughs> ah, 
Yeah. Uh, how many tournament. times have how many times have you have you won with me throwing? I did well today. This just okay. prior. Okay. It's just I was cooking dinner when I went all in and got uh, out of the trip. Oh, well, it, it was the same thing that I did. I, I I I threw a lot of money at the wrong time, and I want I I had the one more roll. You just can't recover when you when you leave too much out there, and you know right. you should be down after three hits. I mean, it is what it is, or or regress. Yeah, I mean, there there was a time in that tournament where I was like, if I wasn't in a tournament, I would have just got up and walked away. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. but in the tournament, I. All right, let's see what I could do. Let's see what I'm just going to make. <laughs> Towards the end, I was just throwing Two money anywhere. Yeah. 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 So, and I'm not. A, I hate tournaments and craps. I'm a firm believer of you play the table, you read the rolls, and you know what your bankroll to profit margin is. If you get up a third, you should walk away or reduce your bets. Yeah. I mean, I like tournaments in a, in a way in, at live tables um, <laughs> because they give that. Um, uh, now, if, you, if there's a buy in or if they're free or whatnot, then it still gives that idea of like, I could just kind of try things out that I've only tried on crap scene, right? And, or I've, you know, I'm going to try this strategy or whatnot after I spent some time on, on crap scene doing it. Um, that's what I like tournaments for. But if I'm walking in the casino and I'm like, you know, I want to make some money. I don't want to lose, you know, today. And like I said, I walk in with the uh, intention of winning, but, you know, expecting the worst, hoping the best. And the, uh, that's where, you know, I take what I've learned at tournaments and what I've tried at tournaments or on crapsies or whatnot. But if you go to crapsies and you say, hey, computer, roll for me, it's crazy sometimes the numbers that come out on crapsies. And mm -hmm. like uh, I, I'm, I'm playing in a game right now on crapsies <clears throat> that I have that the seven has rolled 40 times higher than any other number. <laughs> so... You know, <laughs> that's crazy. And that's what happened to you on a bubble crafts machine too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Blonde ladies. That <laughs> evil freaking thing. Holy hell. Yeah. You know, you were talking about the ATS hit. Uh the yeah. biggest I've seen was last month when I was up in uh Murphy. There was a guy that hit the ATS on three separate tables. Oh, Full wow. ATS. He oh, hit wait. it on the table. They didn't, not at the same time, right? Like They're not supposed to allow that. No. He, he hit it on our table. Yeah. Then he walked over to another table. Hit it over there. Wow. There was a there was a guy from our table following him around. <laughs> I would have too. <laughs> and then he walked over to the crapless table. Mm. and hit it there mm -hmm. and then he came back to our table and they they said sir you can bet anything you want because the, the dice were going to him and and mm -hmm. they said the box man said no no next shooter and oh really uh, oh yeah and they said you can bet as much as you want on anything you want you just can't throw the dice anymore tonight what yeah, they can't do that. Like they could skip him because he didn't have action. They can't no, just they wasn't refuse his to tossing. Why? What was the reason? They just they 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 can't they can't do that. Like the the commission the could get them in trouble if they don't have a reason why they did. It. Like if he ro rolled short rolls and that's why they're doing it, that's the excuse they're giving them. That might be acceptable. <laughs> But they have to well, have they an pulled excuse. him to the side and talked to him. I don't I don't know what they told him. But mm. uh, he uh he basically colored colored up and left. Yeah. So mm. but mm. they you know, they just kept telling him upstairs called down and said you can't throw anymore. You can bet anything you want on anybody here, but you can't throw. Well, was he reaching in his wife. pocket? Was he reaching in his pocket and he had powder <laughs> yeah. on him? Like, what was the... Oh, I, you know, he had to know. have done something. because no, he, he kept his hands above the table from what I remember. No, no, but you he know? had to have done something. If they called upstairs... Yeah. He, 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 I have but dinners how, I like with, with, with GMs and stuff like that. 
And they can refuse your business and trespass you, but they can't just tell you you can't throw the dice unless yeah. you've done something wrong that they warned you for. Yeah. You can risk your money, but you may not win it. Yeah, that right. makes no sense. Right. Yeah. But still, how would I you get left away too. with that? Yeah, yeah. An ATS, though, you know, even if he was doing some weird die switching or something, how would he even? I don't think it's switching. Like if you if you have no. if you had if you had powder in your pocket, that's not necessarily that that's not necessarily against personally the rules per se, but maybe you're you know they're like, hey, you're introducing you know particulates into the game or something like that like i don't know i don't know what they would have said maybe he post bet or something and, and that's the reason why but uh why would they let him bet on something else if that was the case yeah 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 i was, shocked. Just, I was like wow yeah no yeah, that's, I mean, that's, it, that's that's nuts well i mean it's nuts alone looks- to get three in a row on on on, on three different tables yeah I mean, everybody was shocked. Everybody's table was, except for the guy that was following. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he he knew. He was happy. He was happy. He's yes. like, I, I found myself uh, yeah. a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Where's my gold? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would, no, I like would have thrown every. Gone. I would have thrown every strategy and betting strategy I had and just parroted him the whole night. The yeah. second time he did it, I would have gone to the other table when he went to it and said, okay, 25, 25, 25. Like, yeah, put yeah. me on all the hard ways for like 10 bucks each, and that's the only bets that I'm betting. <laughs> I don't care. Let's go. <laughs> I'm either going to win or going to lose some. <laughs> yeah, I meant to tell you about, I meant to tell you that story a couple weeks ago when we were talking about the ATS and we got to talking about something else and I forgot. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. How much longer are you planning on going, Alfredo? I think we're going to be ending it pretty soon time. because we, we're going to have an LFC coming up. So why don't you guys get mm-hmm. something to eat? Um, we, When we have the LFC, you guys can jump on if you're not a shooter. Uh, but just, you know, try not to talk when the dice are going to go out. Uh, but we will be... Um, Having other shooters, Brian, you gonna you gonna fire up your table or? Yeah, if you uh, if I'm invited. Uh, it's an open LFC, so <laughs> we might have new people that we haven't shot with ever uh, jump That's on. That's okay. So, hey, we're That'd we're an inviting community, as you see. First time we had uh, John on and, and Sean. Great to have you both. Um, we're growing, you know, the crap. <laughs> <laughs> we're growing the craps community together folks Let, let's have a, a, a great evening if you go over to the casino make sure you don't work to come out and make sure you walk away when you have uh, a little bit more money than you, you came in with uh, but uh, any of you guys want to say anything before we leave tonight walk, walk, hit the thumbs up All right. <laughs> mash that like button Congratulations, Matt. You won a chip. What's the man? All right. I I did it Hawaiian crap shooter style. (laughs) Blast on the fourth Uh, quarter. (laughs) 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 All right. KC is the big vote getter here. Uh, 65% of you believe that KC is going to beat San Francisco. That's uh, yeah, I wonder if people are bidding bidding like that. Experience counts. It does. It does. You know, I just it hope it's I, I, I hope it's a, a pretty close game. I really do. That nobody blows the other one out, you know. Mm. Yeah, I agree. San Francisco's an exciting team. Yeah, don't you have a little oh, yeah. skin in the game over there, Sean? Uh, and and John, yeah. right? You both from the Bay Area, right? I'm a Seattle uh, fan. My wife is a Niner fan, so I'm going to hedge our bets and go KC. <laughs> Parlay <laughs> mostly. Okay. No, I'm a. Uh, I I I'm not a fan of either team. I I okay. enjoy. Uh, um, I follow the Arizona Cardinals, 
but okay. I, I, okay. I, I'm saying that out loud, actually. And <laughs> the yeah, and uh, uh, right. but outside that, I'm not. I don't care either which one wins. But if I was a betting man, which I am, uh, PT. <laughs> Okay. I'm a Dolphins fan, so don't feel too bad. Uh, we got embarrassed in, in, in the first round there. Uh, well, I and, mean, and, and sort of petered off at, at the end of the season. My favorite player is Baker Mayfield, so at least I got to see Tam- Tampa Bay make the playoffs. <clears throat> yeah. Yep, yep. Hey, it's been a crazy sports year. The economy's not in, a, in, in the best spot. But this is probably a year where there's going to be a lot of variance. A lot of people making a lot of money off of off of the choppiness of, of where the economy is. So hopefully you guys uh, are able to enjoy some time over at the casino, wherever you are and whenever you decide to go. Until next time, folks, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for all your time. Take care. Thank you, Alfredo. Thank you, Alfredo. For all yeah, you thanks. Thanks for a great sir. channel. Yeah, appreciate nice it, to folks. Meet all you guys, hit the like button. <laughs>